dressed like literally every woman that you see on Facebook once they turn 35. Was that dick suck? That wasn't dick suck. Everybody got a titty tat. No, we not. It's not. Sure, we not watching the. Two hours. We not Get watching the, the whole. We not watching the whole video. We were just watching the first fifteen minutes. He said, "Is this the right video? This nigga about to have me watch fifteen and then come back after and don't know again. Fifteen minutes later, talking about oh nah, cause it's the wrong video and then I'm a ban him." Everybody gotta get a walkout. All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. It's Hi. your host Arlette, and we are back with another episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. And we've got some beautiful single ladies lined up. Make some noise, ladies! All my single ladies. Yeah, that's what I'm All my about. single ladies. So yeah. we have got a group of single men waiting to come out here and meet y'all. So when they come around this corner, they'll come out one by one. If you're feeling him, if he's your type, he checks off all of your check boxes. Do not pop your balloon. However, you know, if there's something he said that you're like, oh, red flag. Why her balloon so small? Or, you know, you just really can't see yourself dating this guy. Go ahead and pop your balloon and I'll go over to a few of you, see why you ended up popping. You guys ready? Yeah. Okay. With that being said, let's go ahead and bring out our first single guy. She sounds very professional. I like her voice. Where is he going? Hello, Where is he? welcome in. I'll have you hold this. How are you doing, Alain? Good, good. How are you? Can we get Great. your name? Maybe I'm hating, but a nigga come through with white jeans on, immediate disqualification for love. Gotta send you out the door. I'm not gonna lie to you. This is crazy. And you got a belt on with it, which is insane. My name is Brian. Brian, how old are you? I'm 40. 40 I'll and be 41 in September. Okay, it's coming up. Yeah. <laughs> and Brian, what do you do? I'm an aircraft mechanic. Very cool. You are lying, bro. There, I don't know a single mechanic that own white jeans. See, this is what I'm saying. I don't know, bro. Age airline. All right. So now, I flip fix planes. Mm -hmm. I want you to get home safe. <laughs> we appreciate you. Mm. <laughs> and now, uh, what are some things that you uh, like to do for fun? Things I like to do for fun. Um, I like trail riding. Mm. I live in Houston. Okay. I'm from New Orleans, but I like to ride horses. I'm a country, country guy. Okay. okay? I'm still city, but you know I like to do country things. Mm. Uh, I like to read. Um, I'm from the ghetto, but I am a nerd. Okay. I like to read. I want to know about things that I don't know. Okay. Um, I like to go lounges. He didn't just say that. Right. I like to go to museums. You know, I just like to really um, have a good time. Thanks. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nice. She, he lost me too. Sweet, sweet. Uh, I was, about, I was about to, I was about to say sweet cheeks, and I didn't want to be weird because like I haven't seen nothing to say sweet cheeks. Now, what are some things? Miss Titty Tat. Things that you're looking for in a woman. Transparency, mm. for sure. Transparency. Okay. If I can't see who you are when I meet you, then I would never know, mm. right? Uh, loyalty. That 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 really um, for men that's a big thing loyalty. Mm -hmm. uh, I need to know when you out partying, having a good time, that you loyalty and you faithful. Mm. To a oh God, this nigga he just said I hound niggas. A man like me. Okay, now what are some of your deal breakers? Deal breakers? Um, I really don't have deal breakers, right? Because I'm from the ghetto, so I understand that you know we do a lot of things in our past and in our youth that. Uh, it's really a problem. Mm -hmm. So I don't really have any deal breakers. But as far as deal breakers, I don't really have any. Okay. You just killed your dating opportunities. Okay. All right. So we did get a few pop balloons. Okay. Let's go on over to those ladies, see why they ended up popping. No problem. All right. Let's start right on over here. If we can have your name and age. Hi, I'm Mrs. Parker. but I Bro, you have a full denim dress on and denim boots. 
You shouldn't even be here. They should have just qual. Here. You know what? On second thought, maybe y'all are made to be. To I don't know. If we can have your name and age. Hi, I'm Mrs. Parker, but I go by Mrs. Okay. I'm 39. Mm -hmm. And what I tell you, Chad? What did I tell you? What did I tell you? I ain't even have to look. You're 39. 39. All right. And Mrs. Parker, what do you do? I'm a professional makeup artist. A makeup artist? Yeah. Shout out to makeup by Mrs. Parker. <laughs> All right. And Mrs. Why did you end up popping your balloon? I popped your balloon because you said you don't have any deal breakers and everybody has to have some type of deal breaker. So you have to have something that you don't like, but you look really nice. You look dapper. Nice to meet you. It's definitely nice to meet you. Uh, when it comes to deal breakers, I'm not a surface level dating type of guy, right? Mm -hmm. I don't really care about your past. I'm from the ghetto. I'm from New Orleans, right? So nothing that you've done in your past doesn't matter to me because that was before me. After me, that's when you upgrade yourself. So that's why I said I don't have any deal breakers because I don't want to say that, hey, you know, you know, you're you're not my type because of what you've done in your past, not knowing that that wasn't right or my wrong. My God, oh, <laughs> please just stop talking, cuz. A simple thank you for your time is fine. Go, like, God damn. Sean, I need you to understand he's from the ghetto. Okay, cuz, but which part? Maybe they should have got you out the way, cuz, Jesus Christ. You are a terror to society right now. You the menace. You the menace. Wrong. Okay, so that's why. From the ghetto, bro, you are wearing fucking skinny jeans. Nobody from the ghetto was getting behind that. Your niggas didn't say nothing to you when you left the house with a belt buckle from fucking Rue 21 and you came out here out the cut like this. Nobody told you not to tuck your shirt in if you're going to wear skinny jeans and they white. Come on, bro. You sending another message. Respect. Mm -hmm. And now, um, is Mr. Someone that is your type? She de definitely. She got this cowgirl going on. <laughs> I'm from the South. <laughs> Right? You know, so I like your outfit. He's also from the ghetto. I like what you got going on, definitely. Thank you. All right. Let's go to our next lady over here. If we can have your name and age. Um, hi, I'm Tracy, and I'm 37. I'm from New Orleans as well, and mm -hmm. I live in the mm -hmm. DMV. Um, and the reason why I popped my balloon is because I am from New Orleans, and just the energy I just wasn't vibing with. Like, I think you're super cool. I love the way that you look. But as far as, like, energy... I feel like I've dated guys from New Orleans before and it just did not work out for me. So I think because we come from the same place, it just clashes. Okay. Chat it. Mm -hmm. So since we come from the same place, it clashes? Yeah. You know. I, I, I just haven't had really good relationship experiences mm, dating you, people from my hometown. You never met Brian. <laughs> you never met Brian, Maybe. but today that you did. You know what I mean? <laughs> and today, definitely, you was a winner. But, uh, you know, the fact that you're from New Orleans, I respect that. Because what is he doing with his hand? Because I respect my home. You're not beating the zest allegations. But number two, why is he talking like he a motivational speaker or a preacher of some sort? I also just found a hole in my sock. So that's a cause for concern. Shit just not going my way today. And I'm prideful on being a Louisiana animal. He from the ghetto. He's a. He did not just say that. He did not. Bro, can I click off this vid? There's no way he just said that. <laughs> respect that because I respect my home and I'm pride. You know what's a deal breaker? When people refer to themselves in the third person, unironically. <laughs> you never met Brian, but today that you did, you know what I mean? And today definitely you was a winner, but uh, you know, the fact that you're from New Orleans, I respect that because I respect my home and I'm prideful on being a Louisiana animal, right? Mm -hmm. And I definitely was feeling you, but thank you, you know, since you popped on me, so. we don't really deal with rejection too well. We respect that, mm -hmm. you know, but we move on. Why do you talk so much? And then nice Tracy, to meet you. Tracy, we actually didn't get, what do you do? Um, So I work in management, so. Like what dumbass idiot did you date? No, nah, just for, huh? What happened? That tat on the side of tit, shit sight. Don't see that a lot. The, the the tat on the side of tit. Are you talking about orange orange dress girl? He's scaring the aunties. Don't do that. They could be hoes too. You ain't gotta misgender them. Second of all though, like I don't know who this long winded talk shit what idiot you dated that made you believe that the long winded talk shit is what's gonna get the girl. It's not.
please limit yourself. And I'm not telling men to do this. I'm just saying him. You got to limit yourself to like maybe three word sentences. The person that I kind of link with, we can kind of go into further of by my career. Yeah. What industry? What management? What industry? Um, I wouldn't like to say. Yeah, I would like to discuss that with the person that I match with. Mm, she said need to know, fuck nigga. I think that's a little more in depth. OK, mm -hmm. you're looking good today. I love the orange. <laughs> can you walk away? <laughs> Definitely. Let's go to our next lady here. We can have your name and age. Um, my name is Chanel Kent, and I am originally from Gary, Indiana. I live here in sure, Phoenix, Arizona. you don't understand when you from the ghetto, you got to use everything you got. Facts. That's a fact. Arizona, um, Coco Stiletto and Instagram. I have my own business. I'm a consultant, business consultant, and I also create trivia games that I sell on Amazon. Okay, and game? I'm sorry, we didn't get your age. And, what and about? I also create trivia games that I sell on Amazon. Oh. Okay, and I'm sorry, we didn't get your age. I am 42. Shit! Um, and the reason why I popped my balloon is, is pretty much, and you have already answered, um, you didn't have any deal breakers. Um, I need someone that knows what he wants. Um, I can be a handful sometimes as well, So, and, and it can be anything. So You can't be a handful at 42, man. I'm not going to lie, bro. You need to be holding the hand of the person who is the handful and be honest that's crazy oh it's gotta be something it's a crazy selling point oh wait but she didn't put she popped her balloon so it's okay and that makes you tick that you can be honest about so that's why i popped my balloon mm. and you kind of remind me of my nephew just kind of it's this sweet okay kind of remind you of my nephew okay um so you said the deal breakers would be because i don't have a deal breaker Correct. Okay, well, I can have a clean... I need, I need a man to tell me something. Tell me what he wants and don't want and, and mm. I fuck with that. You not learning not to be a handful at 42 is crazy. Chill. And you that can't will, tell me that? And, and I might jump all over you. <laughs> and that will come. Definitely. I would definitely tell you where you're going wrong at. Mm -hmm. But as far as a deal breaker, um, I have a clean slate with everybody. Why do you keep saying that, bro? You can't you can't you can't unstupid your way out of this. You said something stupid, you scared the 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 hoes, and and and, and and it's over. You know what I'm saying? That that killed a lot of your momentum. Just that one line right there. It is what it is. I'm the type to trust you before I not trust you. You can't make that make sense. You said you don't have any boundaries and no deal breakers. You a grown ass man with white jeans on. They put everything together and said you're not the one. You might as well just leave. I'm going to give you that grace before I don't give you that grace. You're just chatting at this point. Right? But I respect how you feel. I like that response. Mm -hmm. No, you don't. <laughs> You might circle back, but... Oh. You might go get back? Might. You want your balloon back? Do, do you want that balloon back? Oh, Not wait. yet. Okay. <laughs> you, you got the gift of gab, I see. So we're just going <laughs> to... I got the gift of gab. Let's go it's transparency, activities. love. <laughs> okay, if we can start off with your name and age. Hi, I'm Janae. I'm 34. Hello, and Janae. Janae, what do you do? I'm in school for fashion design. Janae Noaiko. I'm an office assistant, and I'm a new entrepreneur. You got kids. This is about the launch. Just say it right now, because I already know Cuz about to go in on you. And low key, I would too. I mean, not saying that you don't deserve love if you got kids, but I just, I get the children vibe offered. My fitness clothing line called We Fit. <laughs> okay, and what? Why don't I get that vibe from almost anybody else here except her? What the fuck? Nobody else got kids? How did you end up popping your balloon for Brian? Hey, Brian. I love the way you speak, but for me, it was the pants. Bro, we might be soulmates. I tell you, bro, I'm not crazy. And niggas not about to just hate on me. They not. Niggas not about to just hate on me. Like, oh, Sean, you just looking for a reason to stop. Stop. I'm never going to. I'm going to tell y'all a lot, but I'm never going to tell you a lot. I don't like the pants too tight. I'm kind of ghetto, too. So I like them a little loose. And um, that was just it for me. Okay. How old are you? 34. 34? Mm -hmm. How many kids you got? I got three. You got oh, my fucking It's over. Oh, my God. I thought maybe one. I didn't think three. He bought the killer. At three? Yep. How many baby daddies? I have three. Oh, my God. I didn't even think about that.
It's over. <laughs> Wait, but he literally said earlier that he not gonna hold none of the past against him. You got three baby daddies, okay? I should have said zero. Mm -hmm. Cause it's just me. You gonna lie to the public? Oh my. <laughs> I have three, but it's just me. I'm a single parent. There's no oh, man in my life. Man. Oh my God. Man in your life? Nope. Why is the reason boys. for there no man in your life? Um, uh, well, my first child, his father passed away, and the other two are nowhere to be found. So, what can you do? Don't they let her have a vote. She'll pick the wrong man again. Oh, brother, that low hanging fruit ass joke. I wasn't even thinking about that, though. Do you like that? What's wrong with them? Something. Mm. Only God knows. Or is there something wrong with you? Oh, shit. My man said, yo, there's a reason. Like, that's what my, my man came out and said, you know what? It's a reason that I would never see my child again. Chad, is there any reason why? Is there, like, anything a mother can do? Nigga pressing TF out to her. Is there anything a mother can do to prevent you from seeing your son or daughter if you want to be a father? Is there a single thing that somebody could tell you or do to you that would be like, you know what? I relinquish all rights to my child because I'm not fucking with the woman that I chose to have a baby with. Nah. Okay, what so it ain't just me. to the clean slate, though? That's what I was saying. But okay, I was just making sure it's not just me. Possibly, but I think I'm just fine. I think you're just fine as well. Thank you. Right. But to say that a 41-year-old man is disqualified because of his pants? Yes, nigga. Only God can kill me. I mean, that's not the only reason. She ain't just see you in the pants and just decide to pop the button. It was as soon as you opened your mouth. That's when it happened. He not listening fully. Then she noticed the pants on top of it and like, nah, I can't do this. You're 41? I'll be 41 in September. Okay, because I was like, I thought you said 40. He did say 40. He did say, oh, shit. I don't know, cuz. I'll be 41 in September. That's coming up. It's, I like it. It's okay for you. It's not my style. Mm. I was going through what she going through, but I'm not like her. I'm humble. You know, with everything going on, I like the pants to be a little baggy. That's all. Cool. Where you from, love? Kansas City. Kansas City? Yeah. Okay. How long you been out here? Two years. Two years? Yeah. Okay. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Let's go out over here. We can have your name and age. This is a level of delusion I don't think I've even gotten to yet. This level of delusion is beautiful when you have the self-awareness to know you really ain't shit. But then you got the other part of your brain that's telling you you're really the greatest person in the world. And that's me for real. I got the two sides. You know, you need a balance, Rome though. looks like Tuzi a bit. Maybe. I kind of see that. I see what you're talking about from a little bit. I am Venusian, 39. And uh, you said Venusian? And what do you do? I'm a TikTok creator manager. Cool. And uh, why did you end up hopping your balloon? Um, I'm a free-spirited woman. I thought she was about to say I'm a freak. I would have been so tight. Now I get it. I hate skinny jeans on everybody. See? I'm not dating a guy with skinny jeans. I'd rather eat a jacket. Do I have, have I ever had a skinny jean phase? I've never had a skinny jean phase. I have had I have had some overly baggy phases though. Like I wear oversized shit now. But I mean my shit was almost to my knees before one time. And I was like, you know what, cuz you gotta stop. Cause you're doing way too much. Jean jeans of 42 in the waist. I'm like, bro, what are you trying to do? Granted, I was only like between 13 to 15 when I was doing that, but still, it was a phase. This guy is just Kevin Samuels and Kevin Gates' love child. Nah, because Kevin Gates is like, I get it. I do, I get it. I think Kevin Gates is genuinely that way. I'm going to be honest with you. Kevin Gates is genuinely, I feel like he's that way to niggas. I'm going to be honest. So having to check in with somebody like they are my parent is something that I don't subscribe to. So that's why I pop my balloon. Like, you ain't talking in this voice to a grown-ass man. You trying too hard. What? I'm not a 32, bro. Stop these fucking fantasies y'all got. Y'all about to make me homophobic. What do you mean check in like they're your parent? The way that you were discussing how somebody needs to constantly, um, when we're out and about, to text or call and check in, 
that's something that I don't dis- subscribe to. So that's why I, mm, I, I, mm. I felt that too. I prayed that. Okay. What do you do? I'm a TikTok creator manager. T- oh, okay. I see what you tried to do there. TikTok creator manager for yes. what company or is it for yourself? <laughs> it's for TikTok. For TikTok? Social- is he stupid? Social media. Okay. Social media? Social media agent. Yes. Okay. How many kids you have? I have two. How many baby daddies? Two. Two? Okay. So you didn't think after the first one that you wanted to marry the next one? No. No? <laughs> Agent, yes. Okay, how many kids you have? I have two. How many baby daddies? Two. Two? Okay. So you didn't think after the first one that you wanted to marry the next one? No. No? Okay. Okay. I was just asking. Jesus Christ. Wait, did they skip those two? They still had... Oh, oh, oh. Ah, shit. I ain't never seen a dude sell this bad. Let me be honest. Now, chat, you don't have to say yes to every woman in the room, obviously. But to not be an option to any in the room is just for a dude with an ego as big as this man Biaro forgot who was in the room is this better than dating apps what do you mean because for real men that's what matters mm-hmm. your first one is given Let's be honest, it's fine, they want to come on a show to maybe find a spark, but it's like how open-minded or desperate you got to be, Sean Thoughts. I think they just, I, I would, he is take every, I don't know how to, I don't know the culture of the, of, of the, of the, of the balloon poppage, I don't, but. You ain't gonna find a love of your life, you just finding a date. Why y'all niggas taking this so serious? Why is he going on these long-winded spiels about should have got married and should have got like? I, can we just can we plan an event first one time just once? What can we nigga nigga? I have never said this to a man before in my life, but nigga smile, crack a smile. The fuck. What are you trying to do here? Your second one, the mistake is on you. Oh, is it? Well, there's that's definitely right. under why I got That's pregnant, definitely but right. That's nor here or there, and that's You're not bef- what I'm here for. Okay, definitely. You're a beautiful woman, though. Thank you. But I respect your answer. Thank you. Let's go back here. Okay, if we can start off with your name and age. I'm Shay, and I'm 37. How you doing, Shay? I'm doing amazing. Shay, uh, what do you do? Um, so I work for the county, and I have- What? Oh, you should have, bruh. My own hair business and a few other little... Sp- oh, I thought you meant that in a different way. My heart almost dropped outside of my ass. Small businesses. Okay. All right. And now why did you... But maybe it does still mean that. I don't know. She rubbing me the wrong way. Ended up popping your balloon. So originally I was feeling it. I, I, I like a... I don't want to say a bad boy, but I like somebody that's outspoken. But the question of... I feel like you're challenging the women. Oh, how many... You are a fed, 100%. You like a bad boy and you work for the feds? Well, maybe she's not... She, she could be the method. At thirty-seven, being the method is crazy though. I don't think she's down with the team like that. Baby, daddies you got, and then you're... oh, she a social work. Yeah, pro- mate, I don't know. No, it's it just that's. It, does that matter? You say future, so that's they past. It's not they future. How many uh, kids do you have? I have one daughter. She's nineteen. Do you want more? I do. You're a father to a daughter. This shit crazy. My balloon still pop because I don't want any more. Okay. You don't want any more? Not at all. I have you a, can't I have, have any more? You, you, no, you I'm choose not, I to, choose have not to have any more. I have an okay. uh, almost 14-year-old. And- okay. Yeah. Yo, you know his hand motion? You know the niggas that be... This is going to sound crazy, but you know the niggas that be like moving the balls, the metal balls around in their head, the little stress balls? 
Is that what he's doing with his hand? Like he got anger management problems or issues or whatever the fuck? Now that I'm looking at it, my brother had the exact same shit. And you just do it because you don't actually have the stress ball. That's got to be what that is. Why are you just moving your hand like that? Well, the reason for me asking their past about the baby daddies because it lets me know where they're going in their future. If you didn't have, if you didn't want to have a baby daddy for the second time, then that lets me know that you was uncareful. You beat bitches of what you're dealing with. Do you necessarily okay. believe that somebody's past is they past that don't determine their future? Not, because not. I mean, I can look at you and say, say like you, you, you made people make mistakes. And it could happen. I, I feel like once or twice. Okay, some things become a choice, but no, your no, past no. doesn't determine. When it comes to w once, is a he's debating like every woman here. Yeah, he be he definitely got a domestic violence charge. I know it. I could feel. I could smell it off, cause and he not the tallest. I could just smell it. Mistake. I could twice smell that's it. on you. Okay, so then say like you get into a relationship with somebody, you get married, I could and things smell don't work. It. So then I guess you made a mistake, or and then so you once is mistaken and twice is. I don't believe in that because I believe things happen. Sweetheart, twice is on you. Okay. You should have learned from that very no, first mistake. Okay. And not learned. saying that your child is a mistake, right? Of course. But the not. fact that you chose the wrong man to have kids with, and secondly, not to have a marriage after the next one or before marriage the next doesn't one. Marriage determine, and I'm I'm a person that wants to be married, but marriage don't determine anything. I've known people to be married for a long time and it don't work out, baby. So, okay. yeah, you are no, honey, but okay. you, you're too aggressive now. No problem. So, uh, well, you know, uh, the aggressiveness that comes from a southern man, uh, right? Bro, in a nigga not. Yeah, this is crazy. I don't know too many grown ass men. Like, I don't think that's a southern thing to debate with women, to be honest with you. Most men that I know, we just walk away. You know what I'm saying? Or just, yeah, she chatting. I'm just, I mean, that's, I, I ain't never seen like a full live debate in person. Hey, Baby, let me explain and we stand on what we talk Our about. come from Texas, so. Mm. Okay, I'm from no. New Orleans. Okay, so you, you know what I mean. South, so when you, right, right, let's move okay. on. Let's move on. Let's no move problem. On. Have a good day, love. <laughs> if we can have your name and age. Hi, my name is Shay, and I'm 37. And Shay, what do you Hello, do? Hello, Shay. I am an insurance adjuster, and I'm just waiting to take my real estate license. Very nice. And why did you end up popping mm. your balloon? Just based off of the energy, I didn't want to pop it too soon. I like to fill you out first, but just based off of the energy and the conversations that were had between the women, just overall, that's it. Okay. So you a follower? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Yo, I don't think we're beating this level of mental instability. No. I just, I went out. That's why I said I didn't pop it right away. I wanted to see Yo. for myself. You like my responses and the women that... That I responded to? You didn't like the responses? Yo, no, just no, the no, energy no, no, no. He from crazy. It. Yeah. Like crazy. The, the energy is too strong for you, huh? Not necessarily too strong. I just, just didn't too much care for it. That's understandable. I respect that, though. Thank you. Okay. Let's go on over here. If we can have your name and age. Davinia, and I'm 41. And Davinia, what do you do? I'm a compliance analyst for a payment processing company. Okay. And why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, I popped my balloon. I was waiting because I was trying to feel the energy, the vibe, the connection, chemistry. And I believe he was speaking very well, very suave, handsome gentleman. So I was trying to give it some time. But then it started to feel like an attack. Mm -hmm. And I don't, I didn't like or agree with the attack. Mm -hmm. So that was why I popped my balloon. Okay. So you say it felt like an attack. Can you elaborate mm -hmm. on that? Um, you don't judge people from their past or you like to start off with a clean slate mm. um i don't think that if a relationship works out for a woman and it happens to be her second kids her second baby daddy per se um i don't think that's her fault so if she decides to stay and marry the man like brian says then that means she's settling and i don't agree with a woman having to settle just because the opinions of others thinking that you know it's going to be her fault it's her fault because it didn't work out no because people, they start off with different personas and then you slowly kind of learn who they really are. So if you decide to walk away because that situation isn't healthy for you, that doesn't mean that it's your fault that it didn't work out. Okay. Okay. So you didn't hear none of what you just said. Oh, there's four billion women on the planet. Oh, God, this nigga going crazy. Planet. Mm -hmm. I'm a black American from Louisiana. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know who he been listening to, bro. Mm -hmm. I have the choice to, to, to have the pick of the litter. Mm -hmm. So why would I pick you if you have multiple baby daddies? Well, don't pick me. Mm -hmm. 
Right. Yeah. And you I have understand the choice. that. You have the choice. We all I have, have the, a choice. I have the choice, but yeah. you're judging me on the fact that I have the choice. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? This is crazy victimhood mentality. This is crazy mental gymnastics. Oh my god. How did you even get to how did you get there from that? How? I'm not judging you. That just means that I'm not for you. If you're going to judge me because my second baby daddy didn't work out for me, then I'm not for you. You know, so I'm not judging and you I understand and your opinion that. How many kids and your you preference. Have? Bro, why are you still going? She literally just said it's other Nick. You just you. Well, that was just your selling point. I got the pick of the litter. I got four billion women I could choose from. Why would I choose you? She said, don't choose me. Why is it still going? I have three, you 25, have three? 18, and 12. Okay, how many baby daddies? Two. Two. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's no there's no disrespect towards that, right? Mm -hmm. But I just want you to understand, when it comes to- This nigga ain't made no joke. He ain't made nobody laugh. He ain't said, he ain't made nobody feel good. He ain't left a compliment like that. He, he ain't said shit. I really be trying to think about this shit. Like, you got to ask yourself, if you a woman- what would a man like about me if you straight? And if you a man and you straight, what would a woman like about me if I, huh? Wait, what? how did I start that sentence? Okay, I'm not the brightest crayon in the box, but I got emotions, you know what I'm saying? And I know how to make people feel all right, especially in person, you know? And so at the end of the day, it's like, yo, what do you mean we know? The fuck do you mean we know? All right, so I see what's going on right now. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to ooze more of this energy so niggas start to know more of my body, because this level of disrespect is not gonna be tolerated. I'm a grown ass man. That's the first thing, first and foremost. Number two, all I was saying was that fuck you. For a man of top tier, right? We give you a few from one man. Mm -hmm. That's it. If you have multiple from a different man. Mm -hmm. That 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 disqualifies yourself. So it <laughs> what the fuck did you just try to say? It disqualifies a top tier woman from getting a top. That's tier exactly man right. Why? Because there's has... billions of women on this planet. Okay. All right. Well, All right? I respect your opinion. Okay. Okay. Well, Brian, that is all the balloons popped. No problem. I can't take this nigga serious with these skinny jeans on. Problem. Well, we you literally could have chose almost any other color, and it would have still been bad because they skinny jeans, but. You wanted niggas to know. Thank you for coming on. Let's go ahead and give it up for him, ladies. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. You too. Yeah, I'm going to need to worry about, bro. Yeah. Well, now that he's out of the room, what are your real thoughts? All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single. Oh, it's just rapid fire? Yeah, we got to get off. This. this is crazy. This is crazy. So what, they just get to keep popping them? Well, what does a good interaction look like? Maybe I might get rizzed up. Who knows? That shit crazy as hell. We are way past, we're not way past 15. He just lied and told, well, technically it's 15 because the intro was like two and a half minutes. You know what I'm saying? It is, it is what it is. That was insane. I keep thinking that the dating apps are where the true dangers lie and this video is like this. He might follow them home. I don't know. That did not look like a, a okay nigga by the time he walked away. Now nah, niggas want to see more. See? See what I'm saying? Y'all are like crack addicts. I just said we was going to do a little bit. Boom. Oh, wait. What about another one? All right. Fuck you. I'm going to do it. <clears throat> I don't really want to see it, but I'm going to do it. Y'all are cutting into my Elden Ring time. Niggas about to say... They about to start making jokes, talking about, oh, well, that's crazy. Like, watch more so you don't have to play Elden Ring. Oh, fuck you, dude. I'm, I'm going play, to play the game and beat it. Why isn't my PC working? Oh, wait, I got it to work. My fault. Guy. Hello. Welcome. Okay. You know what? Man, I'll have you hold that. What's your name? My name's Josh. I'm 37. Okay. And Josh, what do you do? I invest in stocks and uh, I'm getting into content creation. Okay. You sound nervous. Okay, so, nice. Yeah. <laughs> well, what are some things you like to do for fun? Uh, I play a lot of basketball. We uh, get too. Nike. Poker. Hmm. You know, things. Oh, shit. He might be an incel. I don't know, bro. It's like that. That's, okay. that's mainly what I do. Nice. Most of the time. Yeah. <laughs> and now, what are some things you look for in a woman? 
Is this a Sean fit? Y'all have never seen me in cargo shorts and a Nike top. He not even wearing forces. This is the narratives that niggas be pushing because they want to drop me down to where they at in life. It's not true, bro. Literally. What do you mean? Is the all right, bro? All right, bro. Uh, I don't. I don't too much care for some people that smoke, like okay. especially cigarettes and things like that. So somebody that likes to be in the gym, mm -hmm. you know, like an active woman, because I'm active myself. Um, somebody that's loyal, mm -hmm. humble. Okay. Like those are the main things. Got you sound like you've been hurt before, bro. Let it out. Got it. Now, what are some yeah. of your deal breakers? Uh, well, the smoking for sure. Mm. <laughs> um, that's the biggest thing. Um, that's all you a really. Liar. Mm. Okay, there you go. Liar, there you go. He got it. There those are go. the main two. All right, got it. Mm. All right, so Josh, we don't have any pop balloons, so you're doing pretty well. Nice. And so what that means is I'm actually going to go ahead and switch it on over to you. So there are quite a few ladies here. So for the first round, everyone always says, oh, my God, it's so tough. But, yeah, I'm going to have you <laughs> pop <laughs> three balloons, kind of just based off of what you're seeing, who doesn't really fall into your type, whatever it may be. So let me hand. Who am I popping? <sighs> I'm popping you because as much as old boy in the beginning had on white pants, you also got a bum ass fit on her at the end right here. The TikTok manager, I got to get her out the way. Green top, you're going. You're going. I don't know how old you are, but off rip, you got to go immediately. Who else is getting popped? You know what? You're next purple purple dress right here you're next i don't like the way that i just don't like the way that this is on you don't i just i don't you're not oozing you know what i'm saying i'll take you from your bitch you're not she not oozing that she not oozing that i don't be honest you're not oozing that you're gonna take me away from any of my other endeavors so you gotta go by default and the third one that gotta go Before I heard her talk, it would have been an easier decision. She's intelligent. I like the way she speak, but you got to go. I don't like the titty tat all the way up here. I don't. That's throwing me off. That's throwing me off. She committed to the bit. She got the titty tat on the titty. She got the titty tat on the titty. This titty right here has got the titty tat scrolling down to the titty. This one right here got it in between the titties. This, this right here is obnoxious. So one, two, and three got to go. And do this. Okay. Let's see if he's on my type of time. And go ahead and pop those three, and then I'll go ahead um, and ask you why we ended up popping them after. Okay. Okay, three. Yes, sir. All three right. balloons. Let's see. Okay, I don't even know y'all. Yeah. Oh my god, you might just be like me. Okay, two more. Oh my god. And one more. No, like, I get it, but, like, like, if you squint, okay. But, like, she's valid. If, like, this is your first time older woman, like, this isn't a horrible starting point. Okay, let's start with the first one you ended up popping. I'm sorry, I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, if we can start with your name and age. Hi, my name is Shay, and I'm 37. He got two out of three dubs. He got two out of three dubs. And Shay, uh, you did have your balloon unpopped for Josh. Why so? Because when he came out, I just I thought he was attractive, and I just wanted to hear more about him. Okay. All right. Feel his energy out. <laughs> <laughs> and Josh, why'd you end up popping Shay's balloon? Uh, just not my type. Okay, keep it simple. Keep it no, cool. No, keep it calm. Simple. Okay. And what makes... Whoa, what the fuck? You ain't have to say all that, though. He says she's not a sex symbol. They're not really your type. He did not go for three, three for three. Mm, just not normally the type I go for. Uh, maybe the dress, not really. Bro, you, we might be brothers. We're not, because you don't got my, like, just that. You know my thing, but, okay. like, she's she's a beautiful woman. Just not, not my type. Okay. All right, let's go on to our next lady over here. 
<laughs> if we can start with your name and age. Davinia, I'm 41. Okay. And Davinia, why did you have your balloon unpopped for Josh? Um, I think Josh is handsome and I think he was well spoken. So I just wanted to see if the vibe was there, chemistry, and obviously it wasn't. So <laughs> <laughs> we're good. <laughs> and Josh, why did you end up popping your balloon? I mean, popping uh, her balloon. Yeah. Um, just uh, I don't like a lot of makeup. You know, mm -hmm. um, I just, that's all, that's all it is. Okay. So, that's all I have to go off of, you know. Y'all are, okay, I get it. I do. I get if somebody popped a balloon, but I also get if somebody didn't pop her balloon, okay? That's all I'm saying. Got it. All uh, right. Thank you. And over here, if we can start with your name and age. My name is Chanel Coco Stiletto. I'm 42. Okay. And Chanel, you had your balloon unpopped for Josh. Why? Well, he came out very handsome, well-spoken. However... He did say his deal breaker was smoking. I am not a smoker when it comes to cigarette, but I am a medicinal, so I'm pretty sure that's, I was gonna pop my balloon, but I figured you can do it for yourself. So that's what it was. <laughs> and Josh, why did you end up popping her balloon? I actually don't mind weed, like that's oh. cool. It's just the cigarettes, like yeah. that, that's what it is. But just like the makeup and you know what I mean? Like I like a more natural look, so. That's okay. pretty much. All right, cool. It. Okay. Thank you, ladies. Yeah. Okay. Seems pretty normal so far right now, outside of the fact that it looks like he uses his entire body to to inhale and exhale. But it look like everything seemed cool right now. So we do still have quite a few balloons left unpopped. Go ahead and ask these ladies a question to help you narrow it down. Hey, um, <laughs> any of y'all have kids? Uh, everyone. Uh, everyone <laughs> okay. They all got kids. Yeah, okay. Um. I guess I'll just ask a different question. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. I got kids too, so we good. How many kids do you have? I have two kids. Two kids, okay. How many kids y'all got? Okay. Let's, oh, oh, hold on, y'all. I'm going to come to y'all. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's start here. Okay. Wait, Miss Crowgirl got a kid? If we can have your name and age, and how many kids do you have? Hi, I'm Mrs. Parker, but I go by Mrs. I'm 39. And I have two kids. Um, oh, so you got two. A girl, 20, and my son is 15. That's good ages right there. He could come into the mix right now and not have to raise nobody for real. Okay. Good. Okay. No, that's not true. You're so stupid, Nina. Stick to fucking Dior bras. Because clearly there's nothing going on up here. Not everybody who's 35 plus has a fucking child. Okay. Name and age and how What I was saying, though, is that I think she probably, you know, like, they older. So it's all good. Kids you have? Hi, I'm Tracy. I'm 37. Not too much, Barry. Get off her dick. She's not letting you fuck. Stop. And You're Somali. My fault. I'm not going to call you Somali no more because that's actually crazy insulting. And I don't mean it in none of the positive ways. But you are 5'6 with a size 12 shoe and you mad skinny. I have one child. I have a daughter who's nine. And down over here. My fault. My fault. You're right. Your name and age and how many kids you have. I'm Shay, I'm 37. I have one son who will be 14 on the 8th of this month. Okay. Name and age and how many kids you have. Hey, Josh, I'm Janae. I have three kids. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what ages? 17, 12, and 7. Okay. Wait, how old is she? Didn't she say she was 34? Let me calculate. Huh. Kid at 17 ain't wild, considering we had a child epidemic a while ago. So, all right. Name and age and how many kids you have? Venusian, 39. I have a son, he's 20, and a daughter that's seven. Okay. Okay. All right. <laughs> Let's back it on up. <laughs> I don't think we got the age of your kids. I know you said you have two. Yeah, I have a 13-year-old and an 8-year-old. Okay. No, it's not wild. You don't understand the climate of what sex was 17 years ago. You don't get it. It was so easy to have a kid between 15 and 18 just 15 to 20 years ago. Now it seems so stupid to have a kid when you're young because everybody knows the ramifications and you can barely afford to take care of one person as a solo individual adult. So why the fuck would you have kids? It's totally different right now. Okay, 13 and 8. Okay. Yeah. Any other questions for these ladies? Kind of help you narrow it down. I don't know. I, I, don't, I guess the kids aren't a deal breaker, obviously, for you. No, I mean, okay. <laughs> actually, I prefer kids because at least you know what it is. But, Got it. Okay. Yeah. Um, What is your toxic trait? Mm, okay. What is your toxic trait? 
I think I can read energy and sometimes I might overthink things a little too much. Like I might read into the energy a little too much, which can create, just create like overthinking. Oh so, shit. So you jump to conclusions. Damn. Good analysis. Um, I don't remember his name, but that's what she said. I wouldn't necessarily say that's I what you just said. Jump to conclusions, but like I just probably think sometimes a little too much. Right, and when you think long, you think wrong. Get the fuck out, pop or bubble. Mm-hmm. Potentially jumps to conclusions, but mm-hmm. not quite. Okay. No, <laughs> oh, you overthink things. Like we're all human, you know. So like, mm-hmm. it's like a we all overthink sometimes. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. She's trying not to get him to pop the bubble by giving like the easy eye thing and get it. Look, we all seen the titty tat. We got it. You're not you're not enticing my bro. He gonna get you out the paint because he's a simple guy. He's not falling for that. Good. Yeah. All right. <laughs> he fell for it. Fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> What's your toxic trait? I believe my toxic trait is seeing red flags and still trying to work through the potential of a person. Mm, so you miss fix a nigga. So I think that hasn't worked well for me. Um, always trying to see the good um, instead of just letting certain situations go. Okay. okay, let's go down here. All right, what's your toxic trait? I'm always trying to help people and I tend to hinder people sometimes. Like it's kind of unhealthy sometimes because I'm always like trying to, I help overly help. Yeah, so you're an overbearing mothering kind of relationship status person and you trying to you trying to mother people but guess what me and my mom locked in popping your bubble i don't need another mom okay pop her shit okay. <laughs> what's your toxic trait um if i'm not being heard i get a little frustrated can probably get loud so you just say you got an anger problem because getting frustrated for not being listened to is normal nigga shit but you don't react to it well. She basically just said, I'll beat the fuck out you, pop her bubble. So that's my toxic trait. Do you get violent? No. That's what that that's the impl- we're we are literally locked in. Me and him, we know. We know. Okay. But I am <laughs> I'm just <laughs> aggressive a little bit. Okay. Yeah, by nature, Ver- but ver- not on verbally. purpose. <laughs> yeah, nah. You gotta go. As soon as a girl say some shit to me that's out of the way, or I get a hint or a feeling of some type of aggression. Bro, I'm chilling. I will never harm you. Just know that I'll never harm you. But at the end of the day, I know women that will harm you. And so if you don't want to, you know, that's all I'm saying. Verbally, okay. <laughs> that's the same thing. <laughs> yeah, I get a little loud when I'm frustrated and not being hurt. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. What's your toxic trait? Uh, detaching. Completely withdrawing. Mm. Yeah. Didn't you get a plate thrown at you, Sean? And yeah, what did you hear about that girl after that? Like, all the time or just something? No, just like if we are having a disagreement and again, like I'm not being heard, I withdraw. So I'll mm. need some time. Mm, so she like, mm, what does that mean? You probably give niggas the silent treatment. You don't communicate when you get offended. Got it. We can work on that though. Low key, we can work on that. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay, Josh. I am gonna have you pop two balloons. At thirty nine though, you might be right. Based off of, you know, the things you've heard, what you've seen, all that good stuff. Okay. Um I'm gonna go right here. Okay, and then one more. And right here. Good shit. Good shit. I like that. I like that. No mommies and no aggressive women. We don't like that. Okay, so why did we end up popping her balloon? Because she's she too nice, like a people pleaser. I don't, because I've, I've dealt with that before. You know what I mean? Like I can't, like a people pleaser, I can't do it. Mm. I like, wouldn't necessarily call it a people pleaser, but if you knew my background, I, like I do a lot of um, giving back and things of that nature. So I have a heart. So I'm not going to say a people pleaser because I do have a flip side of me. So you're definitely the method. Whatever, whatever, like, jail you work for, like, I don't know, maybe CO, I don't know what she's doing, but she's definitely the man. Oh, like, to a certain extent, but no, respect. Okay. So, but you put people before yourself. No, 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 no. To, to a default, right? No, 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 I don't put people before myself. I extend a lot of help. Like, I'm always there to try to help someone. She's in denial. Yeah, it's over for her. And sometimes that can be unhealthy. Like, 
let them figure it out. Stop trying to help them. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm not going to put anybody before myself because I'm a mother, so I have to have my sanity and things of that nature to be a parent. But, mm -hmm. yeah, I just, everybody knows I'm always helping them. So. <laughs> See, but the thing about that is you're going to stress yourself out, and then you're going to come home, and I got to deal with that mm. because you're trying to do too much for everybody else. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't bring so. problems home, but. That's oh. Why are you lying? See, lying. You can't say it's your toxic trait and it don't spill into other aspects of your life. You're lying. Still respect. Okay, okay. Still respect. respect. Still respect. Respect, respect. Yeah, okay. I'm not bringing it home. We we leaving it at the front door. Okay. Respect. <laughs> Let's go over here waiting to pop in this balloon. Because she loud. Oh. I just, I don't like that. <laughs> I'm, I'm very chill. So, you know, if you're too loud, like, nah, I'm good on that. Okay, thank you. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Did somebody shoot themselves in the background or was that a balloon? Who had a balloon? Oh, Mrs. Jackson. I would be so tight. Oh, Miss Parker. I didn't even remember her name. Fuck. <laughs> okay. But regardless, like, Respect. <laughs> Let's go over here waiting to pop in this balloon. Cause she loud. Oh. I just I don't like that. <laughs> I'm I'm very chill. So you know, if you're too loud, like nah, I'm good on that. Like if she if she didn't claim loud, she'd be like number two best option. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Thank you. He didn't even look back. Yeah, there's something wrong with this nigga. Let's go back Respectful over here. Respect. We did get a pop. Where was the pop? Back here, back here, back here. Okay, why did we end up popping our balloon? I pop because I could get loud sometimes. Like, I'm chill, but I like to be loud sometimes. So I don't want somebody like, oh, you're too loud. You can be loud with me. What are you? Bitch, what? You 40. What are you? Oh, uh, yeah, you just turned me. You're yeah. disrespectful. No. I don't care if you loud, like, because you're having fun. But I mean, like, when you're disrespectful. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. Well, thank you for clarifying. Like, yeah. You had to have that explained to you and you 40. I, there's, no, there's no future. So do you, after you clarify that, do you want the balloon back or is it? I don't want to give her a balloon if she couldn't understand that. I'm going to leave it pop. Oh. You're very handsome, though. Thank you. Okay. You're, You're very pretty. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we do have two balloons left unpopped. Ladies, any questions for Josh? Blogger, what do you mean by that? No, I don't. I don't know what you mean. Explain. It only take it only take like point two seconds, you know what I'm saying? Uh, elaborate on a nigga mindset you feel what i'm saying I, I would like me personally like if a nigga asked me some shit like i would just be like yo what up like what's next like i would just explain so what you mean by that you're half their age relax what does that mean you know how me i'm a chill i'm a chill you know what you know what i'm, I'm gonna hurt you a kid you want to start down there? Okay, let's let's go down there. She has a question. <laughs> All right, what's your question? How do you um, resolve conflict? What's your conflict resolution style? Um, Drina, just like bro, why why do y'all have to take such mad measures? Your niggas going too far. Just relax. Of conflict. What's your conflict? What was the question? Right, let's let's go down there. What was the qu question? You wanna start down there? Okay. Ah, All right. So we do have two balloons left unpopped. Ladies, any questions for Josh? You wanna start down there? Okay. Let's let's go down there. She has a question. <laughs> All right. What's your question? How do you um, resolve conflict? What's your conflict resolution style? Um, I get really quiet. I think communication is very important. So <laughs> I think it's important to like take a step back and see where you're wrong and just kind of see how you can find some middle ground. 
and talk talk through things because 99 percent of the time it's just misunderstanding you know if you talk get through it mm -hmm. so that's and do you know your love languages um i like kisses on the neck and compliments <laughs> Yo, there's something wrong with this nigga, man. Physical touch. Physical touch and words of affirmation. Right. Well, like, I'm not going to say physical touch because, like, I like my space, right? Mm -hmm. So I. Mm, yo, he might really just be like me almost, kind of. I don't like to be crowded or, you know what I mean? Like, even, like, in bed and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Like, you got your side, I got my side. Like, don't come near me. Right, not, and it's it's not like <laughs> I know how that sounds. But. Nah, I get what he's saying. Like some people think because they in a relationship, they don't got boundaries. I don't want you to walk in the shower with me. Don't come in here while somebody's shitting. If I'm in the bathtub, I don't want you to sit in here with me. Maybe I'm eating by myself because I like the view by myself. If I'm reading, don't come talk to me. It's okay. We can be together doing different things. But I just like my space. Let me just put it that way. Okay. So kiss me on my neck all you want. You know, um, yeah, and just compliment me and we good. Okay. <laughs> and what's your sun sign? My what? Your sun sign. My sun, I don't know. Like my. Nigga said, oh, you one of those. That was not an implication that we can't do nothing together. But there are some things that you clearly know your partner likes or enjoys by themselves. That just takes a level of consideration and lack of selfishness. It's not all about you, Nick. Like, uh, your zodiac, okay. Zodiac, I'm a Capricorn, okay. Those are all yeah. my questions, okay. Uh, all right, let's hit She up. just asked what his sign was at 40, yeah. So, I'm back this way, <laughs> got any questions for Josh? Um, so I have a few actually. Yes. Um, so who currently is delusional about you? <laughs> So are you single? Do you believe you're single? Or is there anyone out there that believes they're in a relationship with you? Oh, damn. That's kind of crazy. I know y'all putting dots. That's not a bad question. Now that I think about it. Damn. I'm um, I'm single. I am single. Uh, I I do have a rotation, but it's <laughs> you can never. Well, you should never honestly answer that question. <laughs> I mean, what? <laughs> Thank you. But Thank you for I your honesty. I just gotta be honest because it's gonna come out eventually. So you mm -hmm. know what I mean. He <laughs> said that like he was an NBA player. He got his fucking new baby mama leaked. Nobody cares. But you're not supposed to say that. You gotta say nah. Like we good. Like, I appreciate it. But you. <laughs> he said you could be next. Josh, what do you but mean? You facts. You but you have a rotation. Mind, I talked to several females. You know. That's it's, a it's pH just, balance issue. No sir. I'm what? Not not doing nothing with it with everybody if, if that's what you're trying to get at but we talk on the phone you know that is dangerously insecure though i'm gonna be honest like first of all a nigga almost middle-aged you think he don't have like like what are we doing here it would be weird for him not to have nobody that he talked to what oh <laughs> I need my man to be my man, my man, my man, and crazy about me and only me. So when you talk to me, you drop everybody else. So, mm. bitch, first of all, calm down. You have titty tats. Let's just stop there. Already you knocked down a couple pigs, but I'm respecting you. Okay? Relax. What are we talking about here? All of a sudden, I'm supposed to believe you not miss niggas? So, mm. so make me crazy about you. Maybe I'll drop the rotation. It's probably some sweet girl out there that's crazy about you that's already in rotation. <laughs> she probably love you. No. Nah. That's facts. She not lying. <laughs> and when you find out, it's too late. It be like, bro, I'm... Like, we we cool? And then they like, they cool, and then they not really cool. And you find out in a totally different way. Unpredicted, unprovoked. On some shit that don't even have to... It's just so crazy. That is a good question, though. She asked a good question. 
<laughs> nah, we we I, I won't let it get to that point unless like it's you know what I mean. It's got to be. Nah. Uh, okay. <laughs> she popped down here too after you said something about you got rotation. All right. Y'all feel like y'all don't got rotations. I don't know how y'all got rotations. What you mean? Y'all be the worst. So it was the rotation. It was that and the makeup comments. Like I like a nice clean beat. I I live for it. So mm. I'm not gonna stop wearing makeup because you don't like it. That's fire. I didn't say it was a deal breaker. I just said I don't like too much makeup. But... Well, I like makeup. <laughs> okay. What you got on is cool. Like, I ain't worried about it. I appreciate it. that. But you said you don't like it, and I wear it, like, <laughs> a lot. You're, you're overthinking that one, but I... She is overthinking that, because <laughs> I'm pretty sure most... No it's going to be a lot of women that's probably in relationships. They don't give a fuck if they nigga don't like makeup. They're going to keep wearing it, and he's not going to break up with them. So I don't know what she's talking about. Right. Okay. You've been on TikTok too long, mama. Hey. Oh, man. Josh, I thought we had somebody for you. <laughs> okay, well, unfortunately, that is all the balloons popped. Let's go ahead and give it up for him, ladies. Thank you for coming on, Josh. Well, I guess I'm not. Whoa, never mind. Let me chill the fuck out. I was about to say, I guess I'm not playing Elden Ring tonight. And I was going to finish the video. Nigga, this shit said another hour. What the fuck? We can do one more guy and then I'm getting off stream. Facts. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's what the fuck? All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next. He didn't even say shit. Single guy. Hello, welcome in. I'll have you hold that. What's your name? My name is Tim. That's anti-black. He got braids and that's why they decided. I mean, his forehead is fucking massive. And you are wearing jeans with a blazer. This don't look, this don't spell employment. I'm going to be honest. But I'm about to hear him out. Tim, how old are you? 37. And what do you do? Uh, I would do side work right now and... I oh, fuck. Yo. Are we, am I jaded or do I actually have good reads on people? Whoa, this is bad. Tim, how old are you? 37. And what do you do? Uh, I would do side work right now and I'm a professional dick. Fuck. Day trader. Okay, all right. Oh, for, for, oh my God. He said professional day trader. What are some things you like to do for fun? Uh, Pretty much read um he lying like shit and i'm not saying he's not intelligent or that bro don't read i'm just saying like that didn't come off like a genuine interest first thing immediately like i could just come off the dome with it photography bitch i like to read charts um take walks I meditate um i do like yoga okay um a little different things so Got you it. breathing so hard and uh what are some things you look for in a woman uh, someone that can actually just, you know, make my life easy. I mean, I'm getting old. Oh, my God. These are horrible answers, bro. Make your life easy and you unemployed? You are walking and you are looking for a lick. And um, there's a lot going on. So I'm here to just uh, build a partner and just just grow together, you know. Ah, oh, bro. Got it. Now, what are some deal breakers? Um, Imagine he say not having a job. <laughs> Someone that's, I would say, oh, shit. a woman that's like, like isolated, mm. okay. more like um, not really in, in tune with their family or anything like things like that. Um, and I would say, honestly, I would say probably drinking and smoking. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Does he only have one option? All right. So we did. Oh my God! Come on, man. Get um. Some balloons popped here. Let's go over to some of these ladies and see what's going on. Okay. Okay, we can start with your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Nobody even cares about their name or age. He shouldn't even want to get to know him. Just kick him off. If you get ratio like this, what? don't even ask no more questions. Hey, I'm Mrs. Parker. I uh, go by Mrs. I'm 39. I popped your balloon. You're, you seem like you're very sweet, but just physically not my type. Oh, shit. Okay. And like, what makes him like physically not your type? You didn't have to ask that. But he might want to know because in the future, I mean, he might be having trouble. He might be wondering, like, yo, shit could, like, why are they not choosing me? 
It's most likely the the braids. What is it? The braid? I sorry, I couldn't help myself. I'm so immature. Oh, I'm a fucking ill. Why do women? Ill. Why do people like me? I don't really like the braids, okay. but you dress nice. Thanks. You're welcome. <laughs> and I was missing someone that's your type. No. Okay. And what makes her not your type? Um, I'm not really into like the tattoos. Um, I do like the outfit though. Thank you. For sure. And the hat. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I'm sorry. Not your type. Physically not my. Most likely the the braids. Let me. Eat. I don't really like the braids. Okay. But you. Dress nice. Thanks. You're <laughs> and I was missing someone that's your type? No. Cap. Okay, and what makes her not your type? Um, I'm not really into like the tattoos. He was just looking for something right there, I'm gonna be honest. Um I do like the outfit though. Thank you. For sure. And the hat too. Thank you. That outfit is trash. I don't know why you lied. Like you could have said I don't like your outfit and then I would have believed you because she is literally full of denim. <laughs> <laughs> denim boots is fucking crazy. With a cowboy hat on? Nah. All right, let's go to our next lady here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping. Um, hi, my name is Tracy. I'm 37. And the reason why I ended up popping is just you're not my normal type. I know I'm, I'm trying to kind of get away from trying to, you know, pick my normal type because that wasn't working for me. But I just don't feel like it will be a strong, intimate um, right. connection between us. And I feel like we have to start building on emotional and physical intimacy um, from the jump. So I just didn't feel like that chatting chatting crazy physical like ooh, you know mm -hmm. but i think you're presented yourself very nice like i love your outfit like i think you're a very very well-spoken person and i hope you find your match thanks and now is she someone that is your type no okay bro like brother think of fucking, i would have loved to see a reality where he got the balloon and he got the pop day shit before they got a chance to pop this because i know this would turn out way different I'm, I know you said you don't like tattoos, <laughs> yeah, yeah. so I, maybe that's yeah. it, but is there anything else? Um, yeah, just not, I would say, not sexually attracted, um, okay. and uh, that's pretty much it, yeah. Okay, all right, thank you. Let's go on over here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping. My name's Chanel Coco Stiletto. Um, I'm 42. I popped my balloon. Um, it's the hair, probably. Okay. I really like your fit together. What kind of shoes are those, by uh, the way? Tommy Hilfiger. I like them. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, okay. Ooh, I almost died. You look very nice. Thanks. It's just the braids is giving, you know, warm it up, Chris. I'm about to. Oh, so, that's not good. Okay. Now, is she someone that's your type? No. <laughs> and why not? Um, she's bro. What are you doing? Why lie? They not they know you lying. I would say I'm 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 more attracted to younger women. Um, you're older. I can see probably like us doing business together or something like that. Oh, that was crazy. Networking. Absolutely. Um, and just, just nah. She do look old. She do look old. I can't. Not attracted. Okay. Yeah. All right. What's going over here? Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. But he 37. That's not like a crazy. Ain't she just 40 or 42? My name is Davinia and I'm 41. And it seems like I did him a favor because he doesn't like tattoos. He doesn't <laughs> like older women. And he doesn't like women that drink or smoke. I don't smoke, but I drink sociably. So um, and then um, I was trying to, you know, give it some time to see to fill them out. But not my usual type. I'm usually for more of a broad, confident, strong, you know. Um, but handsome guy, very well dressed and well spoken. Okay. All right. Let's see if this one changes. Is she your type? No, I'm not. It's not. <laughs> they see through your bullshit, man. Come on. They joke. They're clowning you in your face. Okay. No. <laughs> Why not? I know. I know. I see the tattoo. That's one thing. I mean. Yeah. It ain't really about. I think you say you smoke. Or something no, I don't like, smoke. Or drink. I drink. You said drink. The only thing with smoke. Uh, drinking is like it kind of interferes with our intimate, in in some senses. Because I mean, what? Oh yeah, this nigga don't get bitches. Does it? That's, yeah, to me, it's 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 almost like we have to. Nah, bro, you chat. You chatting right now. Sometimes drink alcohol to be intimate, and that's not you know. It's, <laughs> it's lit that almost. That, I I can't even. Who has that ever happened to? No, to me, where you needed it. 
that more intellectual. Mean you have to. Like, I don't even keep a, a stock of liquor at home. So I'm a social drinker. When I drink, I'm usually drinking because I'm out or something like that. I don't have to I, drink. I, 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 but oh, okay. I get it. You, you just, <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, you just lost me. Nah, I know. Like, not everybody know you full of shit. I there would yeah there would be no connection because I'm not yeah. I'm not even a social drinker. Yeah, yeah I get so. it. That's good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Thank you. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon? My name is Shay and I'm 37 and I just popped my balloon. I think you're very well dressed. I just popped my balloon just because I just wasn't physically attractive. Yeah. That's all. Okay. And is there anything specific that, you know, I would probably say the braids. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so. All right. <laughs> and now is Shay someone that's your type? No. <laughs> <laughs> It's a tough guy. <laughs> Damn, hoes hate braids or something? No, they don't like the braids on him. And that's what's fucked up, because some people could walk away from this with the impression, oh, well, braids not it. No, that's not what they said. Or at least that's not what they meant. <laughs> okay, and what makes her not your type? Um, Yeah, she looks a little bit older than, like, 45. Um, 40, I'm not 45. Yeah. <gasps> <gasps> Look at her face. Look at her face. Did she ever say her age? Nah, that's crazy dick riding. It just look, I mean. Just oh my God. Yo, that's crazy. Look older. Um, not attracted. Um, I don't know. Oh, shit. I'm just lost right now. Okay. But yeah. Okay. I, like the, I do like the dress, though, Thank for you. sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cap. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon? I'm Shay and I'm 37. Obviously too old. I do have tattoos and you don't have a type. Because everybody's not your type so far. So to me, you don't have a type. You popped your balloon before he even said that though. So quit lying, nigga. I already know you a CO. I know your ways. You're a conniving, thieving. Only look out for myself, ass nigga. Um, yeah, I do have a type. It's just um, not y'all. Oh, kill him with that one. I'm not attracted to like oh, let's say older women, older women. What's considered older? Is uh, he not 37? Um, uh, I would say probably don't say 25. Probably my age or older. I'm more into like I can better do like 27, 28, 29. Wait, how old is he? He's 37. So what the fuck is he talking? Somewhere around there. Okay. Yeah. Respect. Okay. What's going over here? Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hey, I'm Janae. I'm 34. I popped because you said you're looking for someone to make your life easier or better. Mm. Yeah, that was the me and Janae, right? Except the fact you be screaming at niggas. Um, I'm a mom and I'm looking for a man for that. Well, I'm not looking for a man, but... I mean, I'm there to support you, but I don't see how a woman could make it your life easier. What do you mean by that? Yeah, what I mean by that is like, it like, cause I work hard. You know, yeah. I would say something. Like- I work hard trading uh, useless stocks on my phone and then turning a twenty-five cent profit daily. Work real hard at that. Like this, like my father would say, like, oh my god, because of the, I don't want to get. I'm already getting beat, beaten up in the world. Yes by what's going on i don't want to get beat up at home too if i'm not having a good day and things like that I'm right. so i'm saying make my life easy how you doing you know how, how was your day today <laughs> do for it hey, just just home peace yeah peace. Mm-hmm. okay exactly okay so i like that answer mm-hmm. oh like shit answer. um and it was the braids too <laughs> you're handsome but Thanks. just do something different mm. what would you recommend I would go straight back. No, nah, don't do that. Don't do that. Why Why did you set him up like that? She think, she think he her. Because you can get away with a forehead as big as this. He can't. He has no other. Why would you say that? Come on, man. Okay. If I were you. Nigga just said shit. Sean C on Pop the Balloon. Yeah, I'm about to get you out of here. Prince what? Yeah, all right, bro. I would definitely take that. This is what nigga's doing to be entertaining. Consideration. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Mm-hmm. So, is Janae someone that's your type? Uh, I would say yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Besides mm-hmm. the tattoo. Yeah, the tattoo. Tattoo. Yeah. Respect. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. All right. Yep. Thank you. And if we can get your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon? I'm Venusian, 39. Um, 
the vibe wasn't there and okay. I wasn't physically attracted. And then some of the deal breakers, I do socially drink and I also um, moved away from family. So that isolation part is yeah. there too. So I'm not going to try to bring you into something that's not going to work for you. So I feel like y'all are misinterpreting some of the shit, but it's okay to misinterpret this one because he's looking for a, 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 a mommy. There's that. Okay. All right. So is Venusia someone that's your type? No. Oh. Niggas just uh, fuck me. And why not? Um, just not attracted. Um, and no, he looking for a twenty-seven year old. I know a twenty-seven year old mother. The the piercing on the yeah. You just looking for shit now, man. Come on, you didn't even see that. Yeah, yeah the piercing. Yeah. You um, can't even. I don't think a lot of women can pull that off. You didn't even see that from all where. Yeah. All right. You're just looking for shit. <laughs> Let's head on back. <laughs> well, that is all of the balloons popped, unfortunately, but we do thank you for coming on. Let's go ahead and give it up for him, ladies. I'll take this. Right, take thank you. Okay, that one didn't hit because I didn't get an opportunity to see, like, where, where they were fucking with the nigga, bro. <laughs> Pause. Where the fine niggas at? My bad. Okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. I was fucked up. I ain't never gonna say that again. I'm homophobic. Hello, welcome in. I have you hold that. Let's get this nigga ball. Yeah, they should have put me on here. I'm gonna go next time. Let me just gain like a cool like 25 pounds of fat, and then I'm gonna come on here. What's your name? Uh, my name is Reggie. Okay, Reggie, how old are you? 36. Okay, and what do you do? Um, I do financial literacy. Uh, help people with their credit, uh, build passive income, start businesses, things like that. Very cool. What are some things I could do for fun? Mine too. Um, so for me, it's not what you do, it's who you with. <laughs> you do okay. the same thing you do with the right person, you can make it a good time. Um, but for me, um, because of that, I'm about experience, so I like traveling, I like um, kind of building with your partner. Um, yeah, just having fun. Uh, okay. Video gaming as well, oh, of, course, of course. Oh, shit. <laughs> Bro, come on now, man. Oh. <laughs> Nigga can't sit down and play Madden. Right. Hey, what are some things you look for in a woman? Um, I like um, a woman to be herself. Um, Kind of, I like when people kind of can meet themselves or who they are and just kind of accept it and grow from there, not kind of like change someone. Like, hey, you're into this, I'm into this. We can learn from each other. So just someone who's open with themselves, comfortable being who they are. Okay. And now what are some deal breakers? Um, <laughs> deal breakers for me, um, definitely smoking cigarettes. And, um, yeah, I would just say more so with the – just with the, what I just said as far as, like, trying to change. Like, I'd rather grow as each other than just, like, you got to do things this way, you know, things mm. like that. Okay. All right. So, we did get a few. Uh, I am not fucking with this fit. Is this nigga wearing 11s? A uh, pop balloon. Are you wearing J's? Are you wearing Concord? Those aren't Concords, right? Let's go on over there and see why they ended up popping. Is this nigga serious? We can have your name and age. and. Is he? He did us. He is dead ass. Why well, you ended up popping your balloon? Um, hi, my name is Trace. What the fuck is wrong with these niggas? And I'm 37, and the only reason why I popped, I mean, you're handsome, you got it going on. I loved everything that you said. You. I would not have popped, but I had just come out of an 11 year Are marriage, you fucking and crazy? video games was a major issue for me. So. Yeah, I know you're not that person. <laughs> <laughs> so don't say, you know, you know, the past is not you. But it's just, for me, I don't like it. You know, I, I've never valued a man that played video games. And I'm not saying that, you know, if that's your hobby, you can't play video games. But it's just something that brings up just something very negative for me. So I just don't like it. Yeah, I don't like the video game. You need to heal, bro. Nobody asks you all that. Okay. But everything else. All this because you don't know how to play GTA. Okay. <laughs> Imagine your girl not dick sucking you from the back. Whoa. Imagine your girl not dick sucking you while you playing GTA. And then she in the background not knowing how to play the fucking game. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> New GTA drop. And you know women that don't know how to play the fucking game. That is unattractive as shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> and Reggie, is she someone that is your type? Um, Definitely my type. I do have a question, though, as far as you're saying, like, for the video games, what type of struggles were you? You ain't never picked up the sticks before? What a lame. What a loser. You're fine with that. Um, just more so time when I wanted to spend um, time together, you know, it's kind of just like the videos turned into leagues and all these things like that. So leagues, it was just a major part of the relationship that I felt like we could have spent together. Um, so, okay. Mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah, definitely. 
him. Thank you. And then we got one down over here. We can have your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, I'm Shay. I'm 37. Oh so goodness. very good looking. Well dressed brother. Thank you. So I popped my balloon and I wanted to elaborate on what you said. <laughs> Yo, they had to pan down because she was clearly fucking lying. Well dressed. You had to zoom in on the shoe. You had to zoom in on that. That was crazy. The cameraman in the background, look at this bitch lying. Now I gotta scroll. You just made him do that. You say, how, like, are you a gamer gamer? Like, you got a game all the time? <laughs> or is it, like, I wanted you to elaborate. I have an um, almost 14-year-old. No, that's so he's, crazy. He's, he's a gamer. That's right. crazy. So when I hear somebody say video games, I'm like, is it something that's just what you must do? Like, how often, how long? Um, do you so, have time for, like, family games outside <laughs> of just video games? Yeah, so when I said, I don't know, well, maybe I did just say video games, but I make games. So I like family night, like just family fun, Sunday fun day, stuff oh. like that, and just kind of doing different themes. Like, I like to host it, make it fun. So yeah, like, that ain't what you meant. Yeah, games like that, I rarely really have time to video game, video game, but if you have time for advice, you'll, you know, do it for, like, 30 minutes, whatever you got, but I'm a working man, so See, <laughs> it's go. not realistic anymore. <laughs> you can't just say video games. <laughs> 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 I put my balloon back together. But no, when I hear that, it's like when you say video games, I'm thinking, he gonna sit on this game forever. But no. Why would you assume that? That's the reason I wanted to elaborate. Yeah, like, definitely. okay, what do you mean by that? Because I, I don't mind games, uh -huh. but family games, board yeah, games, definitely. outside games. Okay. Absolutely. All right. Okay. Now, is she someone that is your type? Um, yeah, well put together, well dressed, well Thank spoken. You. Absolutely. Thank you. <laughs> so, we still have quite a few balloons. Left. I'm just shocked that nobody has said nothing about them shoes, bro. I'm just shocked. Left unpopped. I'm going to go ahead and have you ask these ladies a question to help us narrow it down. No problem at all. All right. So, so my first question is this. Um, has anyone ever been um, in the entertainment business? And um, do, um, have you ever had uh, OnlyFans? I was literally about to say that that's what he's hinting at. Yeah, that's the question. Okay. Her name is literally Mrs. Parker. That's nobody's real name. You, she, know, I know. I, I don't like. Come on. Start over here with your name and age, and the answer to this question. Hey, I'm Mrs. Parker. I'm 39. Um, when you say entertainment business, do you mean like just OnlyFans, or do you like? Can you specify? He literally just said what he meant. Um. So like, uh, I would say like dancing things like this. Are you a stripper? Do you accept? Do Do you accept payment for play? Oh no. Good. That's good. Okay. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> she didn't answer the OnlyFans question. <laughs> Your name and age and the answer to this question. I'm Chanel. I'm 42. Nice to meet you. And I would say I'm in the entertain. I've never had OnlyFans. Um, I probably would break the internet if I was. <laughs> <laughs> However. You know what? She's not lying. Because older women have like always been the craze. I. The fuck? What the fuck is that noise? Do y'all hear that? Nigga, <laughs> what the fuck? I hope that was thunder. Wait a minute. Let me just check on the in, on, on the weather app. Nigga, what the fuck? It says clear. What the fuck was that noise? Nigga, did World War Three start early? Appreciate the five gifted. Wait, 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 wait. Don't give too soon. Niggas might die. What the fuck is that noise? No, dead ass. What is that noise? No, it's continuously rumbling.
That gotta be Ozempic After Effects. The fuck was that? Nigga said Yerks kicked in. Damn, I should've took that time to go pee. It's too late, bro. I'm here now. Explain myself for what? Oh, y'all saw... Nah, I wasn't... Bro, what are you talking about? That's how you run at the gym? Bro, I be chilling. What are you talking about? Why are y'all talking about a run? I was chilling. We might have had an earthquake. Did you have no pants on? Nah, they were just half pulled down. Don't worry about my run. When shit pop off, just know I'm the first one gone. That's all I can say. Okay, I don't hear the noise anymore. Damn, I really should have peed. Create trivia games. So one thing I noticed, as you mentioned, is that game night. Yes. Well, I have three games that I've created, and I sell them on Amazon. Amazing. Family night, game night, hip-hop edition. So I love to host those things as well. So Ain't nobody buy that shit. That is the close I'm going to get with entertaining. And then, of course, with my consulting business, I, there's a few uh, networks that I work with as well. So. Perfect. I love that. I am 100% down with the MILF OnlyFans thing. If that's if that starts happening, I'm 100% down. Only only women is 40 plus, though. You can't be no younger than that. Your name and age and the answer to this question. My name is Davinia. I'm 41. And no, I am not in the entertainment business. I never have been. So. Yeah, great. <laughs> name and age and the answer to this question. My name is Shay. I'm 37 and do not have an OnlyFans. I do double and dabble in acting. I know, right? I'd subscribe. No, I'm not subscribing. I'm going to get the leaks, but I'm not subscribing. But I'm going to support from afar. Like, I'm going to shout your shit out. It's going to be ambiguous, too. Like, yo, y'all don't think this lady's sexy as hell? And then that's like the promo. I'm going to just go to the Instagram on stream and then be like, yo, this crazy. And then, boom, it's going to be a thing right here. And then, yeah. I'm not clicking this, bro. I'm not clicking this. What? You've never been, you've never had football practice, clearly. You've never had football practice, clearly. Because that's literally the, that's literally the exact, that's how, it, that's how you get in the zone. And you gotta, like, see, niggas don't understand. And like I said, when you show niggas new shit that they not, like, used to, they, the first instinct is to clown it. First instinct is to clown it. But at the end of the day, like, it is what it is. You, nigga, you, that's literally how you do it and you don't understand. But like I said, y'all don't work out. Y'all not gurus. Y'all not masters at nothing except sucking dick. So it is what it is, bro. I'm not, I'm not really tripping. Yes. That's great. <laughs> Your name and age and the answer to this question. I'm Janae, 34. Never know OnlyFans. Not my style. But I do sing. And that's the only thing. That's great. You have some music out to kind of do it as a hobby? I do. I wanted to do it as a career, but... I'm just focused on something new right now. I respect that. Yeah. I respect that. Thank you. <clears throat> Your name and age and the answer to this question. I'd have made her pull out the phone. I'd have pulled out my phone and made the song like, bro. Venusian39. I am a TikTok creator manager. So that's about the only entertainment platform I utilize. But other than that, no, I don't have an OnlyFans. All right. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. All right. So, Red. Hey, almost everybody kept their bubble. G, I'm going to have you pop. Chad, is he sexy? Maybe I don't get it. Maybe the fit really not that bad. I don't know. Two balloons based off of what you're seeing and what you've heard so far. So, let me give you a pick. Okay. So, Just based two. off the questions. Mm -hmm. uh, tough, tough, tough. Okay. Um, I am going to pop. You're gonna follow me, okay? Yeah, pop those two, and then I'm gonna pop this. I don't one. know where you're popping. Uh -huh. Good one shit. more. I'm going to pop. Go ahead and get uh old old girl at the opposite end of the spectrum. Uh, I'm gonna pop this one as well. Oh, that's different. Okay, I feel that though. She was very weird with the question. Okay, let's start over here, and so um. Mrs. Mrs. Okay. Why did you have your balloon unpopped? I was trying to like be patient. You're swagged out. I love your drip. I love the turtle necklace. Thank um you. He gotta keep putting it down because these they do not know. Do you know? It's okay. She don't know. Just give you a chance. I really not into bald heads. <laughs> so I was just trying to like not pop before you came out and just hear you out. Okay. So he's not your usual type? <laughs> 
<laughs> Again, like you you look good. It's just the, the bald no. Okay. I'm just trying to, you know. Got it. Really That's f- such an unrealistic standard to keep men that are 30 plus too because like you do you know like he can't do anything about that. The fuck? I love it like <laughs> step outside of my box. So you know like for bald head the less hair you have the more head you get. Oh my fucking god. Oh man, I just man. We are not the smarter species. I wonder if anybody gonna pop their balloon off that. Hey, that works for you, so <laughs> I ain't shaving my head. I don't have no issues. <laughs> okay. I forgot they old and they don't get dick often, so they gonna think those jokes are like, OMG, he's a freak. Like, yeah, I forgot. It's all good, though. Hey, jokes. <laughs> Reggie, why did you end up popping her balloon? <laughs> if you act any type of freaky to a woman that doesn't fuck often and her standards are kind of like low, you get like, brother. That was just so stupid. Why would you say that? Um, gorgeous, beautiful, um, well presented. I think just from some of the answers, I like a few of the other answers better, but that's literally it. Okay. Respect. Right. Thank you. And let's go to the other one you ended up popping. Okay. And why did you have your balloon unpop for Reggie? Um, when he came out, I felt like he was confident. I love the way he's dressed. Here you go, generalizing. I'm a generalizer. Sue me. Yeah, and I just wanted to hear more what he... If you didn't pop that after that, you're not going against the stereotype. He had to say in his energy. And Reggie, why did you end up popping her balloon? Yeah, same thing. I wish I could have got like a more meat to the bone question, but same type of thing. I kind of like just some of the, little, the other answers well put together. Love the purple. So, yeah. Thank you. Right. Okay. Go ahead and ask these ladies another question. All right, I know you had one brewing. <laughs> yeah, I had a brewing. I know you had okay. one brewing. So my question is this. Um, how do you feel about um, your partner leading in a relationship? And in your opinion, um, what is the kind of thin line between, oh, this is a man that can lead or this guy's just controlling? Like, what is your kind of difference for that? Oh, shit. Nigga got more in that brain than just brain. Okay. Wait, that was really stupid to say. Damn. That was on stream, too. That was live. That's always going to be there. It's okay. Start over here. I'm Chanel, 42. Um, my limitations, what you're saying on maybe feeling that I'm being controlled in my relationship Versus. or that a man is leading. Correct. Um, I come from a traditional background. Gender roles is very important. Um, so respecting the man in the household, whether we agree or disagree, um, that's something that I've raised around. Um, public um, respect is very important that I've been raised under, so I would never have a disagreement with you in public um, as far as controlling. I agree with the whole public disagreement thing. Don't embarrass me, and I won't embarrass you. You know, that's just the general rule of thumb, but I keep that with friends, too. I'm never going to go against you in public, ever. I will never be on another person's side in front of you. But when we get home, Bitch. I'm not really sure what you mean by that. Um, if you're saying that you need to check my phone and you need so, to like. Yeah, so, so well, I'm not saying that. I'm asking you. What is so like, <laughs> so I'm asking, um, how do you feel about a man leading in a relationship? And then I'm oh. asking you in your opinion, what is the thin line between, oh, this is a guy who can lead versus, oh, no, this guy's just controlling. I just love a man that can make a decision, you know, make a decision and go with it. I'm a Capricorn, so you will follow the leader ass nigga. Oh, um, I'm a realist. So what the fuck? All right, bro. Pop her balloon. If I see that you can't make a decision, then you can't lead. And then eventually I'll step in and make that decision. And then you might feel like that I'm overstepping you. So it's just more of a man um, knowing what he wants. I'll follow, you know what I'm saying? And if I see you got it, you know, I'll wait till you get there. But if you just... If you're too far off with leading, especially someone that has businesses, um, very attractive, um, get attention, there are some things that a, a certain type of man, for me, um, they have to be a certain type of way. And they have to be able to stand in front of a lot of challenges with having an attractive woman 
and all of the assets that come along with it so that you can stand there with your, you know, your head high. You remind me so much of my husband, my ex-husband. Oh, fuck. Pop, 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 pop. Pop, 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 her shit, pop her shit, pop, pop, pop her shit. I love. Where's the pin at? Pop her shit. Pop, 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 pop. My family, my brother is Pop Jordan that ever came out. You did very well putting it together. So thank you. I'm just looking at you. That's all. Okay. Let's go to our next lady. See, he don't get enough attention because that was the biggest red flag I've ever seen in my life. And have your name and age. And it couldn't be a flag regger. I... Whoa. See, I said everything else right. <laughs> and then the it was supposed to be redder. But I said everything else right. That was almost too close. That was almost crazy. Man. Say again. No, no, no. I don't need to say it again because it was too close. That was too close. The answer to his question, Divinia41. Um, the answer to your Whoa. question, I actually desire a man that can Whoa. lead, a man that can make sound decisions, a man with a plan, um, but a man that also Whoa. considers my needs, my wants, my desires, and my happiness. So if you're leading and you're not considering my feelings or what makes me happy or what I desire, then I think that that can become a little controlling. Um, like if I want to go out or if I want to go with these friends and you're like, you know, well, no, you know, if we have plans, I understand. But I think that's my fine line. But other than that, I, I desire a man that can lead. Not all men can lead. Absolutely. Great. Let's go down here. If we can have your name and age and the answer to his question. Hey, I'm Janae. I'm 34. I hope they don't take that approach in every instance of the relationship, though, bro, because shit, I like that shit, too. Sometime I'll play backseat just to see how you'll react. Um, I think a man is created to lead, so I don't mind a leader. I think that's what I'm attracting as far as... Y'all sleep on brown dress? <clears throat> controlling, um, if you're too possessive. Um, and it's not what you say, it's how you say it. So, yeah, lead, that's your job. <laughs> I respect <laughs> it 100%. Yeah, absolutely. Me. Your name and age and the answer to this question. Venushi, 39. I think um, every relationship starts with a foundation. Transparency and honesty, trust is a main factor. So I think when we are developing that, the leading comes with when we develop that foundation. And mm. once we have established that, then I can trust you to lead me. So when you're asking for my phone or asking me what I'm doing, then that I feel like then you're encroaching on my space. And that's something that I don't I don't subscribe to. So right. that's it. Yeah, great answer. I feel that. I didn't hear a word she said. Okay. All right, Reggie. <laughs> Let's go ahead and pop two balloons. You know how crazy it gotta be for the bald nigga to have options and you as a nigga with braids and taller immediately like 10 zip all right all right um i mean i just have to comment all those answers was yeah, yeah. <laughs> gets given okay um but to pop two he popped the balloon with me i'm not into the man wearing the pants i like a healthy balance of us both wearing shorts You disgust me. I fuck with that answer you just gave, too. You just changed the article of clothing. That really penetrated a layer of my soul that I didn't think was penetrable. And not in a good way, you know? Because now I'm just picturing a couple with some ugly-ass camo shorts. And they roam in the streets, frolicking, free legally just allowed to be amongst the rest of us and no consequences uh will they suffer and i don't i don't agree with that all right i'm gonna go here pop this one doesn't work and i'm gonna pop this one over here as well 
He too delicate, man. I'd have been smashed my shit in there. See, this is a precursor to other things. <laughs> all right. And why did we end up popping her balloon? Um, yeah, once again, I mean, all the answers were along the same lines. You definitely, um, I love the qualities that you're saying. And just same thing as I said, I just like a little bit of the answers a little bit better. Um, but gorgeous, great answers. I just like the other ones a little bit better. Okay. And why did She gave the best answer low key. Did you have your balloon unpopped for uh, Reggie? No, she, yeah, yeah. I liked his style and I wanted to hear what he had to say. I also like a woman in no style. And then we ended up popping this one. Why did we pop her balloon? Um, I'm beating the same drum, huh? <laughs> um, something yeah. different. Something different. Okay, so for, I mean, you gave a great answer though. Um, so <laughs> I'm just gonna say, um, yeah, I, I liked your answer. <laughs> Too indecisive. You need niggas to be on the fly, off the cuff with it. You can ask me any question right now. I'm going to have an answer prepared for you because that's, how, that's just how my, fast my brain works. Like, I just never get stumped. I never get sidetracked. I never, like, oh, my God, deer in headlights. Oh, my gosh, she asked me a question. I'm panicking. I'm just not that type of nigga, bro. <laughs> Everybody oh, gave her along the same lines, but they shit crazy. played it their own way. Um, Why are you a freak? Nigga, I'm whatever I need to be in the moment. So, you know, it's kind of like a show where you're kind of, you know, I'm the guy with the, the stick, you know what I mean? So it's like hearing the answers, like, do I like Mexicans? Do Mexicans like me? If, if everyone's giving me an A and it's when like, oh, this is the cooking stream. Whenever niggas bring food. A plus, then I just like the answer a little bit better. That's, I would approach you if I seen you, like, there's nothing wrong with you, I, my type, all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. Got it. And then why did you have your balloon um, unpopped for Reggie? Um, I think Reggie's handsome, well spoken. Um, Rock I think hard I, for you, RN Sean. That's not a question. I've seen him on another show, so I was trying to kind of <laughs> wait and not judge by what I've seen before. So you've been here before, you freak ass nigga. Well, I mean, but we're good. Okay. It's a good guy. All right. So, ladies, any <laughs> questions for Reggie? Okay, let's start down here. Hey, Reggie. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> How do you feel about celibacy? Oh, brother. Just pop her shit, bro. She think... <sighs> God, you know I mean? Jesus Christ, bro. Oh, my God. You don't know how many times they start off with this line. And they be the one that approach you. Why are you talking to me? I just thought you... No, no, no. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. This never is true. I've had a girl tell me she was celibate, like within hours of us first meeting. Literally less than 48 hours later. I'm not even gonna put her like that because she was so nice and so kind, but stop saying this. And then blaming niggas for being the one to break it. I'm not breaking shit. I'm being my normal, regular self. You're not celibate. You're not. Just stop it. It's okay. You ain't got to lie to have fun. I respect you either way. That's not being a whore. That's not a whore. I'm the whore, and she's the one that was claiming celibacy. If anything, she's the liar. I'm just the person that was the victim of her sexual urges and desires because she was holding that shit in for too long. Sean, how you felt about your girl liking your family but nitpick their personality and agreed on your stories of why you they get on my nerves at times. Well, no girl is ever going to agree with me about stories that I have about my family because I'm never going to my girl with stories about my family. I just don't do that. I'm just not the nigga. I'm not I'm not going to talk to I'm not going to talk shit about my sister to my girlfriend. I'm not doing that. That's weirdo shit. Just like I'm not going to talk about my girlfriend to my sister. I keep those separate. If I got an issue, I'm going to just deal with that shit with the person. That's just a weird boundary to cross. So they never have to agree cuz I'm not doing that. Um so pretty much waiting until marriage is that? Yeah. Um I would say so I'm I'm very spiritual, right? So for me it's like who you give your body to, it's like soul ties to me. You know what I mean? 100%. So you want to be, you don't want to just be out here going wild. So, so yeah, so I would say I will respect if that's, you know, decision you're making and, you know, we can have conversations about it, things like this, but you want to get to know the person before you're just like, soul ties is a real thing. You don't want to attach yourself. I don't know if soul ties is a real thing, but I agree with being selective with who you share your body with, though. That's important advice. Hold to someone and then, so I respect it, honestly. I love that. And then one more. Um... How do you react when you don't get what you want? Um, communication, conversation. I'm big on, on talking and things like that. So if it's something like I want that, we talking about like within myself or like with my partner? With your partner. Like say if you... Wanted to fuck and she didn't feel like it. Is that what you're getting at? Wanted me to do something 
Um, how do I say it? Come on, bro. Just, just, just piece it up. Just anything. Say you want me to do something. I'm like, I don't feel comfortable with doing that just yet. Would you shut down? Well, you did say communication. Yeah, I would cheat. It's really that simple. Yes. I don't know you well enough to say I will work through the problem. Something so, like that. no, no, no. You, like I said earlier. I'm like, not a cheater, though. I'm just saying if I were in a relationship and it meant that much, you're basically giving me no choice. Like trying to change someone until your liking is like you have to meet the person where they're at and kind of grow with them. That's how you're going to have longevity. Facts. That's how you're going to, you know, make it further and you, you get a lifelong partner. But yeah. me just trying to or anybody just trying to change someone from the beginning that it never ends well. So, yeah, absolutely not. I like you. <laughs> wait, why y'all saying he said, wait, who said no choice? Oh, you talking about me? Oh, <laughs> no, nah, I I, I'm saying like, bro, I can't change nobody. I can't make nobody fit the standard that I want. Like if they're not going to do it, that's cool. We might just not be meant for each other. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> do you have kids? Yes. How many? Two. Two. You did say that. Okay. Good. Wonderful. Yes, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Any questions over here? Um, How old are your kids? Um, 13 and 14. Do you want more kids? I just always said I would have another uh, kid with a wife. With the wife. So you want to get married? Uh, I, it's definitely in my vocabulary. It's in my plans. If I find the right person, absolutely. Cause I do have you ever been married? To the Lord. I've never been married. Oh, mm, my God. Right, it's just making you laugh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> where where did you say you're from? I'm also from Virginia. Is she looking for a reason? You live there now? No, I live here. Oh, what part? Here? Mm -hmm. Um, Avondale. Oh, okay. All right. Um, do you cook? Um, I'll motivate you in the kitchen. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a great answer. See, boy, niggas sometimes be using it. They do sometimes, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I cook. <laughs> you know, I got to motivate me. But do you know how to grill? Um, oh, that's an even better question because a grown-ass nigga that don't know how to grill is basically useless as a man, I'm going to be honest with you. That's tough right there. It's not the best. <laughs> it's not the best. Yeah, bro, you're useless to society. I'm going to need you to go ahead and just revamp. <laughs> okay. Other than that, I don't know. I don't have any other questions for you. Okay. Right. Reggie, time to make a decision. <sighs> so we've got two beautiful ladies. Absolutely. I know it's going to be a tough choice, but we do have to pop one of their balloons. He's not bad choices, though. Great questions, great answers, great outfits. I mean... Outfits, everything is literally beautiful. But if I have to pop one, I'm going to go ahead and pop this one. <clears throat> yeah, he not, you're not even. Okay. <laughs> Why did we end up popping her balloon? Um, man. Um, I feel like we would mesh um, well. I, I feel like you, are you spiritual? Very. Yeah, because when I mentioned the soul tie, I see how you kind of lit up for that. So yeah. I feel like we would have mesh in that way. Um, but he, he said, I need that. <laughs> <laughs> we're beating the same drum but literally <laughs> i think just from all the questions i've yeah. asked all the questions that's been asked to me oh. I'm her, um, oh, man, a little bit more. Hell, i love sorry. how intentional you are and Absolutely. i hope you find a match definitely respect thank you thank you <laughs> let's go on back okay let's bring you on up come on up come on hey, up. Hey, okay <laughs> <laughs> all right so any final questions that was the oldest shit she could have ever done but it was moving though between the two of you before. Any questions for me? Um, yeah, I have one more question, one more question. Okay. All right, so my question is this. Um, so my family dynamic is kind of different. Like I'm not necessarily close to my biological family, but I've had friends who have kind of become my family. So my question to you is this. Um, what are your thoughts on family? And as far as your family is concerned, like how does their opinion on the person you're dating kind of affect the relationship? I have a very big family and we're very close. Um, ah shit Yeah see I need people with dead parents On their side you know what I'm saying Very respectable You ain't got a whole li You ain't got a long list of niggas to go through In order to get to me But the ones that are there I mean You gonna have a, It's a tough cookie to crack I'm gonna be honest Why y'all saying what the fuck Bro Come on I got dead great grandparents A couple dead grandparents You know what I'm saying Pop's not really around. We don't get along. I got a list of family members on the other side I don't get along with like that. So, I mean, it ain't too much. And then the other ones that you got to deal with is really female friends that I've never fucked. 
And, you know, at the end of the day, like they would kill niggas. You know, they basically sisters. And then my I then I got my real sisters. Then I got my mom. It's really nothing but women. If a nigga had a problem with me, I'd really be SOL. But they'll shoot him. It's different. It's different. They don't fight fear for real, I'm gonna be honest. Huh? Sean, who do you hate more? What happened? Mexicans or Asians? I don't hate nobody, bro. I love everybody equally. I'm good. I'm chilling. Sean just being himself. But you want dead No, no, no. I'm just... No, no, no. I'm good with a big family. I just don't want the whole... I gotta go through a man being overly aggressive because he trying to scare me type shit. Because... That's not gonna work, my nigga. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um... I've had it happen before. It didn't go well. Just be normal. You know what I'm saying? Don't be weird. Cause I just don't do that. Don't do that. Cause you, 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 I, I, it's a, it's an act. You're not being yourself. You go put yourself in harm's way. Cause like I said, they don't fight fair. I don't fight fair. I don't. Imagine me squaring up with a nigga. Well, I, I you just gonna learn. That gender. It's unfortunate. Some niggas just gotta learn it's my their opinion is very important to me because i spend a lot of time with my family whenever we're together like right now it's the holiday weekend i have family here until tomorrow they've been here for a week or so um we get together we have you know and we bring our significant others okay. um That's so cool. i'm not sure how comfortable you are in that environment but my family's gonna ask you questions and they're gonna so you a shooter sweet why do you go to the worst option possible nobody said because i'm not squaring up with a nigga that i'm gonna shoot him we ain't got that type of problem. I just said I'm not going to fight you fair. Want to know what you're about, and I'm going to pay attention to that. So. That, perfectly answered. Perfectly answered. Oh, <laughs> is it gonna Sean, I could knock you out for real, but I won't. Hey, man, do your worst. You know what I'm saying? Be a yes for you for him. It's a yeah. There have been plenty of niggas that have said that. No nigga has ever successfully done that. Is it a yes for you, for her? Absolutely. We got a match! <laughs> go ahead and Damn, take this mic and they you got it. Can go on up. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Dot hi, Mr. Sean. I just wanted to say thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedule for watching some of this video. Not only that you seem to actually enjoy some of it and laugh. Thank you. Greatly appreciate it. Dan, that's beautiful, bro. I'm glad I could fulfill your urges and hidden desires. Genuinely. They said some. Um, they win no prize. I just want to see an inkling of the next nigga. Like, real quick. Bro, I'm hot. Bro, it's 11. If I'm, I got to be done with this by 1130, I'm going to be honest. So, whoever we got left, that's the last nigga. Um... Shit, you know? Wait, if it's only... Yeah, 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 yeah. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? I'm James. I'm from Indiana. He looked like... How you guys doing? <laughs> uh, awesome, awesome. James, how old are you? I, I can't finish 41. it. I can't finish it. What do you do? Uh, I'm a tour guy, so I own a tour guy company. I take people on vacations. Dog, you got on Cubans? I give people a local experience. Instead are these not... These ain't real, are they? Fuck. Then I'm standing in the resort. Turtleneck with the double Cuban, and they not chokers. Uh, I'm connecting about 45 countries, and I'm trying to take somebody daughter around the world. What's happening? Oh, okay. <laughs> and now, what are some things you like to do for fun? So I'm adventurous. I was about to say that's Wale, but I'm not going to insult him like that. I love like road trips. I love uh, quality time. I'm a man who enjoys time. I'm not one of those men who is always busy. I actually enjoy time and want somebody to spend time with. Mm, that's fire. That's my problem. So uh, I'm interested in somebody with quality time, calm, uh, patient, affectionate, loving, okay. and bring peace to my life. Got Same it. thing I do to you. And uh, what are some of your deal breakers? Uh, deal breakers? I don't like loud. I don't like, uh, I don't like attitude -ish. I don't like, uh, I just like respectful. Just keep it cordial. Okay. You know? Okay, got Yeah, y'all just not attracted to bro, because that's not even unreasonable. Got it. Okay, so we did get a couple of pop balloons. All Let's right. go on over there and see why they did a pop in. Okay, if we can have your name and age and why you popped your balloon. Oh, James, over here. His head is crazy. <laughs> Wait, why are they laughing? They laughing? Are you fucking crazy? 
Yo, what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, they laughing because he bit his lip? Oh, no, nah, he do look crazy right here. Nah, bro, I couldn't recover from this. Your name and age and why you popped your balloon? Oh, James, over here. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> James don't listen to that well. Your name and age and why you ended up popping? Um, hi, I'm Shay. I'm 30. No, bro. Seven, and I ended up popping my balloon. I'm not really a fan of, like, the bling look. Oh, fuck. She said the bling look because your shit ain't real clearly. But also, you said you don't like loud people. and Why is he zoom? The cameraman ain't shit. I'm loud by nature. Oh, there's nothing wrong with being loud. So I'm not saying loud like that. I mean loud towards me. I mean, we should be able to communicate cordial. Communication is very important to me. So we should be able to communicate with older women don't like the flashy stuff. Nah, that's not true. They'll go. But like I said, everything for the right individual. I do understand daintiness works better over the of the over like the flamboyant shit. Like this right here is crazy. Without overdoing each other. Oh, so you mean loud listen. when it comes to disagreements yeah, and things? Yeah. You look like a burnt Will Smith with dreads. That is so racist. Well, it's okay to be loud. I'm fun too, girl. Come okay. on in. Okay. He low key looked like Joiner Lucas. Okay. Yeah, give her a balloon back. What's oh that? no, he don't. I think I he looked like Meek Mill. You know what? It's it is what it is. <laughs> like what's he doing? <laughs> I'm still gonna keep my um balloon party next week. I'm gonna pop because I don't like a flashy That's bling crazy. person. Yeah, it's yeah. just burn a boy. Now y'all just saying shit. Like it brings too much attention, and I'm not. I, I like to be the center of attention, or we be the center of attention, okay. and not you. Uh, overlook me and uh, you know outlook me, and I outlook you. We don't Un understand. Understand. Yeah. understand. So that I love yeah. It. I love it. And now she's someone that is your type. Um. We could definitely, I would be willing to communicate and see, you know, uh, I'm more of a, uh, he looked like, I like to talk, creepers. I like to see where, so my beauty is everything, of course, but sometimes glitter ain't gold. So, right. you know. <laughs> Let's go to our next lady, your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hey, I'm Janae. I'm 34. Nice. And your turtleneck don't fit you all the way. Like, your shoulder's not broad enough for it on some shit where it's like, it's not supposed to be an oversized shirt. It just don't fit you, gang. I like your energy. Okay. We could laugh all day long. Okay. But I am loud. Okay. And if I'm not heard, you know, and it might be a little frustration. I grew up from a loud family, so you might not, not like that. Nah, wait, he really a skinny Dr. Rumar with dreads. Y'all are literally just saying anything. He looks nothing like Umar. So... When I say loud, like I was telling her, I don't mean you're not able to be loud. I just mean like in communication. Uh, I've noticed in relationships or in think times nowadays that people want to overdo each other. Yeah. So I'm just meaning as far as like when communicating, not to overdo each other. I, he looks like he is always shrugging. I love a woman that's, that's fluffy and, and loud. Yeah. So okay. And I, I don't like that back and forth want to overdo each other. Yeah. But yeah. What if I'm accidentally loud? Like, well, well it's, it's okay. <laughs> you know, it might well, happen. And you for. might be like, girl, pipe. And I can uh, pipe down, but it's kind of like I'm naturally aggressive. So doesn't, that doesn't bother me. Yeah. An aggressive woman doesn't scare me. I'm an alpha Good. male. I'm an aggressive male. So you, I want you to be. He said, I'm an alpha male. I mean, I want you to tell me when I'm doing something wrong. Those things don't bother me. Cool. For sure. All right, let's. Well, you shouldn't even waste your time. They're not picking the balloons back up. Head She's on gonna back. pick that balloon pop. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't ask for it back. <laughs> okay, so we do still have quite a few balloons left on pot. Go ahead and ask you later. That's not Wale. That's whale. You're not funny. Is a question. Help us narrow it down. Who has a passport? Everybody. Uh, everybody has a passport. Okay. Oh. That's one way to play the game. All right. So, um, what are some of your love languages? Okay. Your name and age, and what's your love language? You got on two fake Cubans and a turtleneck that clearly isn't meant for your body and a watch that's not real talking about love language. Hey. I don't like liars. Somebody should say that. Hey, I'm Mrs. Parker. Nice I'm 39. You. If I was a woman, a nigga would hate to see me coming. Right. Okay. I love your swag, by the way. Oh, swag that's, that's Appreciate it. No problem. Um, You said the love languages? Yeah, the words. Um, I would have to say... There's five serious ones, I feel like. Oh, brother. Okay. 
Um, if I'm going off the vibe, I would say probably words of affirmation. Mm. Mm. I like words of affirmation for okay. my man. I need my man to like let me know I'm doing a good job. If I I feel like she don't fuck with her. Like anytime she open her mouth, she just gives this stank look. I would low key instigate as a man that likes to see women in conflict. I'd be like, yo, what's your problem with her? Every time she speaks, it's just like, I don't even know, bro. Like, what's going on, bro? This is crazy. If I need uplifted if I'm doing something wrong, I emotional it. support. I wouldn't I let that it. go. Words Absolutely of affirmation. Love just me. Absolutely though. love it. And you look good, Queen. Love yeah, it. Thank you. Okay. Your name and age, and what are your love languages? Um, hi, my name is Tracy, and I'm 37. My love language, I mean, there's a few as well, um, but I think the biggest one for me, and if it's not a love language, is just emotional intelligence and awareness. So I'm really big on just um, intimacy, so whether that's with communication, togetherness, partnership, things like that. So um, it's not physical touch, but it's definitely like we you can touch me through communication. Oh, okay. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Didn't you have on heels before? Am I tripping? This dress needs heels. Not gonna lie, I might pop your balloon. I just noticed that. Awesome. Great answer. Name and age, and what's your love language? Davinia. I'm 41. Um, my nice love language is nice to meet you. Um, physical touch and words of affirmation. Like, mm -hmm. tell me how you. Okay, she changed them. Okay. Feel like I don't care if we've been together for a long time. Mm -hmm. Tell me how you feel. Tell me I'm beautiful um physical touch walk up behind me in the kitchen kiss me like you know remind me of how you feel so that's my love languages mm -hmm. so like then rames off baby boy you just walk up behind just like what up little naked like shit like that mm -hmm. name and age and what is your love language my name Not is shay and i'm 37 my love languages are words of affirmation and quality time i love, I love to be affirmed i love to know that i'm doing something great i like to be reminded and quality time that's how i get to know a person Got that's it. how we get to know each other spend time together so yes mm. thank you mm. i love it i love that answer and our last girl over here your name and age and what is your love language Venusian, 39. Um, nice to meet you. Uh, nice to meet you. Acts I love of your eyes. Thank you. <laughs> Acts of service and giving and receiving gifts. Ah, love it. I love giving gifts. Yeah. It's one of so you're a trick. My love language is to give. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you said your love language is, is giving? giving? I love giving. Okay, yes, okay. Yes. I'm very affectionate. Okay. Um, I'm very passionate what I do. Um, I like to talk. Um, I'm definitely into more mental than I am. I mean, of course, it's about looks, but I definitely love a woman that can conversate. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely into communication. One hundred. In the communication, I love a woman that can conversate. All right. So, with that being said, it's now time for you. That was dick suck. I'm gonna be honest. I would never call him out on that in front of the hoes or nothing like that, but it has to be noted that you a fraud to pop these ladies balloons so there are still quite a few balloons left on pop so i'm gonna have you pop three, three? i know yes three balloons One so let me take this so nice. you guys are some very beautiful women by the way i'm I have an attraction to everybody here but of oh. course we have to narrow it down to one <laughs> hey, what the lies we tell all right yeah so go ahead and pop those three Ooh. Didn't seem that hard. Okay. Okay, let's stay down here. <laughs> you said it's so tough, but you did that quick. <laughs> Just get it over with. All right. Get it over so with. So why did we... He popped her so hard, a piece of the balloon is permanently attached to her dress. Do you see this? <laughs> Look at her dress. That nigga meant that shit. God damn. <laughs> Just get it over with. All right. Get it over so with. why did we end up popping her balloon? Well, um, when I asked her about um, the the questions I asked her, she didn't seem too confident in what she was saying. She was just like, mm -hmm. so I don't know. I think that means she wasn't attracted to you or something like that. I don't know. Okay. Kind of was like, okay, maybe you know. But she's a beautiful woman. Love the outfit. Love Thank the you. shoes, girl. You look amazing. Thank you. That shit trash. Definitely. All right. And now is he someone that is your type? No. Oh, yeah. okay. So what? See, I knew I be knowing shit, bro. Like, come on, dude. Did you have your balloon unpopped? I just wanted to give to see what he was talking about. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's what's up. And what makes him not your type? Um, are you a smoker? No. Well, we. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah that's a deal breaker. Four twenty friendly. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Got it. Okay. All right. Thank You're you. Still beautiful though. Thank you. <laughs> okay. And now, why did we end up popping her balloon? 
Um, so when I asked her the question, she didn't really look like she this would be so fire. I'm sorry. They don't fuck with each other. Oh, my God. Never mind. I'm going to just keep that on the inside because niggas are going to be sucking my shit if I say what I say about me or what I like. I just I'm going to just be quiet. bro. Um, so when I asked her the question, she didn't really look like she was facts. too interested in facts, me. But facts, I could have been facts, wrong. Facts, facts, facks. I maybe should have asked her, but. Is he spot on? Or? Yeah. Say it, coward. I guess saying, I guess calling me a coward is gonna make me spill my beans. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. So then, why I did you have your you. balloon unpop? I just wanted to hear more about him. I, I love that he's very well spoken. I love his energy. Um, just a gentleman. But yeah, I would appreciate say it. appreciate it. Just I would just the jewelry may be too flashy and yeah. other stuff like that. But yeah. Yeah, I'm outside. <laughs> 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 yeah, nobody snatched your chain because they don't want it. <laughs> and then why did we end up popping her balloon? Well, I know she wasn't interested in me. <laughs> she, when, she, when I looked at yeah, when I looked at you in your eyes, what? When... This is the second time she didn't did some shit like this. When I looked at you in your eyes. You... Niggas don't even have to do shit and they be selling. You just like completely like turned away. You were not interested. Oh, at least this is what I thought. Okay. But you're a very beautiful woman. I love your outfit. You have amazing feet. And Thank the you. shoes are looking good, girl. You Thank look really you. How you go from having the world to having nothing? Yeah. Good. Thank you. You look good as well. All right. <laughs> so is he someone that is your type? No, not usually. No. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, I ain't nobody's not type. Really your type. <laughs> um I don't know. I'm I'm trying not to just go from the surface, mm -hmm. and so I was trying to give it some time. I didn't want to. Is that not the craziest thing that you could ever hear as a man? Imagine a girl came up to you and she said, "I'm not going for looks this time." Like, the fuck you mean? That's not crazy to say to somebody. I think it's rude to just pop off rip before you get to mm. kind of know a person a mm. little bit mm. but um just not my usual type and a little over accessorized for my liking mm. but okay. yeah it's okay to be flashy if it's real but bro other than what are you flashing Nah, mm. you're good <laughs> no problem no problem no thank problem. you <laughs> all right why do we end up hopping our balloon um, the reason why I popped, and I just want to say, so I came here to find something different, someone different. So I was trying to kind of, you know, not pick my type. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think you're very sweet. The 420 thing kind of, you know, plays back in my mind. So I'm anti everything. I mean, I do drink and stuff like that, okay. but you know, I'm not a lot, but I just feel like we probably in the end probably wouldn't hit it off very well. Huh. Yeah. We'll make you say that again? Because just because of the smoking? No, I mean, just like the, the vibe. Um, I just. Bro, your head is massive. <laughs> I think, like, as far as like attraction, like, I think that you are, I think that you're an attractive guy. Mm -hmm. I do. Um, but the accessories kind of like, I'm hot. You're not hot? Yeah. The sweater? Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I was like, I, well, was, I went to a I was, wedding was, straight before here. Like, so. I, 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 <laughs> why are you lying? But you know, I just don't want you to feel like you know. What I mean, you you went to a wedding full of bridesmaids, full of all types of different people, most likely. You didn't get nothing over there, so you came over here and thought the situation was gonna be different. Red flag. Oh, red flag. I I don't like you because okay. you know that's not the energy that I'm trying to give. It's okay. just I want someone that when I see them I'm like I want like I want you. I understand you that. You know I, want I understand you. that completely. Yeah. How you go to a wedding and don't have anybody on you from the the bridesmaids are literally look they are hounding. That's the most cap story I ever heard in my life. I wouldn't even came here if I had a wedding to go to before this. You're definitely entitled to what you want. One hundred percent. All right, and why did we pop our balloon? Um, I popped because you were just like talking to the other ladies about how no one seems interested in you or like the ladies that pop like weren't really interested. Okay. So you gotta like be a little more confident. Well, 
the thing, so I am I have a sense of humor. She's stupid. I'm, I'm goofy. So I didn't mean it in a literal sense. Like I was just saying, oh, you know, jokingly. Right. But okay. I respect that. Yeah. I, I don't like non confidence either, but I'm top tier confidence. Like so but I appreciate that. You look good. Thank you. You look really good. <laughs> you look really good. All right. Well So I'm... so it's over. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, that's crazy. <laughs> Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What you mean, wait a minute? They said it's over. Wait a minute. Hold on. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait. What do you mean, no? What's the, what's going on? What's what's the next what's your next move? Wait a minute. Okay. Yeah. You're so cool. Yeah. Wait a minute. So I would love to take you out. Oh shit. Oh shit. This is where you go from little nigga to you know what, fuck this game. I'm getting something out of this. This is the Hail Mary. <laughs> See, we can't do that, though. We can't do the public pressure. It's mad people around. This not really her true answer. I don't think she's having it. You not having it? I'm going to keep it, keep it pop. Oh, my God. Even with the public pressure added on, she still said no. Nah, bro, I don't know. I'd have to go home and re-encrypt. Yikes. You gonna keep up? Okay. okay. <laughs> Alright, well that is all the balloons all right. so we do It was nice meeting you so ladies. Alright, have a great one. Have a great one. Him. James walking off of my mic. <laughs> Come back with a mic. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Chat, I'm almost there. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? Bro, another bald nigga? Get these Neos out of here. Whoa. I said Neos. I'm living here with something aka Denzel Washington with dreads. What does that mean? I said Neos. I said... Bro, oh my God, dog. Come on. Christian. Man. Christian, how old are you? I'm 40. 40? And what do you do? I work in the renewable energy. Oh no, this nigga look like Tate Diggs. Actually, no, he don't. Huh? What happened? Why y'all saying scam? What's crazy? Residential sales. Um, I'm also a community organizer, activist, and uh, I just love life. <laughs> what are some things you like to do for fun? I travel a lot. Just came back from France. My mom was born in Paris. Um, love soccer, basketball. Why you sound like you about to cry? Love playing scra Scrabble. Okay. I'm an avid writer, poet. Um, Something tragic happened, bro. Just a renaissance man. All right. <laughs> and now, what are some things you look for in a woman? God fearing. You know, I'm Christian for a reason. Mm -hmm. um, traveling. I hope you have your passport. He got a good head for baldness, though. <laughs> if you like uh, artistic endeavors. And artistic endeavors? What is that? Can you list each one of those endeavors out slowly? <laughs> if you like uh, artistic endeavors <laughs> and, and community, community building, uh, oh, that'd be amazing as well. Okay. Now, what are some deal breakers? I know what he said. I don't smoke. Um, if you have, uh, I mean, children, as long as you have two or less with... Uh, Some of them don't have more than two and they still popped. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's I thought pink dress only had one and then I thought brown dress only had one or two. You know what? I bring it up to to three. Uh -uh. Maybe some, <laughs> some can get the balloons back, you know. Oh yeah, she she got hers. Okay, so she want her balloon back. <laughs> if you... okay. Oh wow, she want hers back. Okay, so three. You're sure? Three? Three. Three, three, three or less. Three okay. Or less. Oh. What the fuck? So, 
Oh, so he said that because he low key wanted orange. Well, he just weighing his options. Why are y'all so? It's the first round. Do we want anyone that does want the balloon? But okay, yep, she does. Deal breakers. Yeah, I mentioned smoking, and uh -huh. uh, I mean just be authentic. You know, it's in, it's uh, it's the highest vibrating energy, so being authentic is also important. Okay. All right, so we did get a couple of pop balloons. Let's go on over there and see what's okay. going on. Let's start over here. Okay, your name and age and why you ended up popping. Hi, I'm Mrs. Parker. I'm 39. I pop because... Um, they trying to get flu to Paris with their kids. They not sleek. Nah. Yeah. For one, it's a tight thing. Um, the hair, like a little bit of hair up there. Um, and the Nah, she's chatting now. Cause it it's different. You don't need hair if you wait. No, you don't need hair if you could rock a baldy. And like you at first, I have eat chilling. Two children. Maybe a fuller beard, like all the way down here, and cover up the little. I'm not saying no body shame, but like the little, the little thing right here. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 not congruent. If I zoomed in, I would make you look crazy. But I'm not trying to make you look crazy. But like it's not congruent when you got the beard right here. I'm just saying all the young men when well, you got the beard in here, you need to fully like let the beard grow past the chin and then cut all that. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, we can't grow a full beard. You can have the whole shit down here and then you cut the beard to imagine the shape of what you want a good jawline to look like. You know, that's really all you got to do. But you don't cut all the hair underneath the chin if you end up gaining weight, it's going to look crazy. It's going to look different. It's not, you know, that's what I'm trying to say. So just you got to grow it out past this point. A little bit of hair up there. Um, and then like you at first, I have two. Children. Oh, they zoomed in. See, that's great. Even better example. Even better example. Um, a daughter and a son. But initially, like you were like two and then you upped it because the balloons pop. So that's why. <laughs> I understand. I just want to make sure that uh, everybody gets a fish. I don't have gold clippers. That's uh, so. I understand. Yeah. And now is Mrs. someone that's your type? Yeah, she looks beautiful. Thank you. All right. And then we did get one more down here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, I'm Shay. I'm 37. So I popped my balloon. It, it, like, I don't like a person that like changes their mind mm -hmm. in the moment. Like if you stand on business and then religion, I believe there is a God. I'm not a super religious person. That's one of those complicated things. I don't judge anybody, but I'm not, I don't want somebody to judge me based off if I'm religious or not. You know, you said you're a Christian. I was referring to my name. My name is Christian. So. Oh. is gay. I did not mean <laughs> oh. was this a uh... You know, my apologies. I, was I thought just you being said funny. Like my name is Christian. Oh, I was like, my name is Christian. My okay. first name. Okay, well then we'll go back. We'll we'll remove the Christian mingles. Um, <laughs> and we won't do that. We'll just go off. I like a person. If you say that one or two kids stand on business, and that's just that you're very good looking. You know, Thank I you. like the fact that you have a lot going on for yourself. It's just I, I need you to stand on business because me, I, I'll challenge you. I, I I love children, so I just felt. You know, some answers we have to give, but at the end of the day, um, I get your point. Do you feel like the first answer you give is always what it is? Because some no, people say that what you say first is what you say. I mean, one, two, three, I'm one of 13 children, so. Wow. Okay. See? So there's a context. You got a big family. Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you. And we did get a pop balloon back here. If we can have your name and age and why you ended up popping. Hi, my name is Davinia, and I'm 41. I popped because he said no children, no, no more than two children. Yes. Um, you said three, but by that After. time I had already popped. So okay. granted, two of my children are adults, but <laughs> I mean, I want you to want what you want, you know, so. Damn. That was why. But other than that, you're handsome. You have a beautiful smile. 
love your complexion, um, love the adventure in you, and you like to give back and help in the community. Um, but I just want you to want what you want. So that's it. Noted. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And now is uh, Divinia someone that's your type? You have a great uh, lineup, beautiful. Why are y'all saying 13? Like, that's crazy. He's at least 50 years old or some shit like that. And he come from, you know what I'm saying, where he come from. It's like 80 of them. No, no dick suck. I'm being dead serious. Like, come on. Black woman. I'm one of almost seven. And there might be an eighth unconfirmed. Like, what are we saying? Okay. Yes. Thank you, Christian. No <laughs> Thank you. Okay. <laughs> okay, Christian. I'm going to have you ask these ladies a question. I said eight. Just to kind of help you narrow it down, see who's more of your match. So my first question, I um, I believe that longevity in um, in a relationship requires emotional intelligence. How how do you define emotional intelligence? Okay, let's start here. Name and age, and how do you define emotional intelligence? Hi, I'm Tracy, and I'm 37. Um, emotional intelligence is just being aware of your partner. Um, their triggers, um, being able to cope with your partner, um, deal with hard times, being able to uplift your partner and vice versa. So you should be able to encourage your woman and your woman should be able. That's not what he asked you. He said, how do you deal with emotional intelligence and how the fuck you going to help me fix my shit if you don't know how to deal with your own shit? That's not what he asked you. She don't listen. She don't pay attention. I'm popping her fucking bubble to encourage her man on every aspect of the relationship so i believe emotional intelligence is just the building blocks of the foundation of the happiness that you bring into the relationship uh, and just being aware uh, of each other great answer let's go to our next lady he's not listening either name and age and how do you define emotional intelligence shay and i'm 37 emotional intelligence tell him shay it's communic oh my god Sean, who would pick in this lineup if you were seven or eight years old? I don't have to be seven or eight years older. I know which one I'm going to have fun with, which is her, Miss America. Um, even though she's going to tell me the orange dress, she's going to tell me that, you know what I'm saying, I'm too young. But she's going to keep me a rotation. She's going to keep me around for whatever stupid reason. And then eventually whatever is going to happen is going to happen. And then 34 year old, the one with three kids, that see she got three different baby fathers. Like, we're probably going to become best friends or some chill shit, you know? And then one fatal flaw or, like, mistake, and then it's all going to go up in flames, you know? We're going to have that one really passionate night, and then all of a sudden, you know, I'm going to be an idiot and do something that I'll regret. And then, you know, now I've lost a friend, and I'm going to be depressed for, like, two weeks with the, my partner and you know sometimes for example if they're we're having an, a disagreement an argument just knowing how to talk why did you put the chat in the chat listerine balls what does that mean sean you have bad luck with older women no i don't i don't talk to each other if that looks like giving I, I could i could give you a story almost every day i'm not like this has become a problem more as i've gotten older Cause when I was younger, like in my teen years, I never thought that this would be, I never thought, I ne I just never thought that some of the shit that's happened that would happen. I, I never thought that. It was on some shit where it's like, I just never, bro. Each other's space. That's not Mr. Bitches. I'm just being dead serious, bro. Like I've tried to avoid this moniker as much as humanly possible and shit. I, I don't know. Shit just happens. Or a couple of hours or whatever that may look like but knowing that we can respect each other in that space but just communicating being very transparent and loving to one another Thank being you. able to have those challenging conversations at all times emotional Amazing intelligence yes. okay. thank you what did she say i wasn't even listening hours away talk to each other i'm um, for example if they're we're having an, a disagreement an argument just knowing how to talk to each other if that looks like giving each other space for couple of hours or whatever that may look like but knowing that we can respect each other in that space but just communicating being very transparent and loving to one another Thank being you. able to have those challenging conversations at all times i don't think that's what he meant as well but you know i still like that answer emotional Amazing intelligence yes. thank you all right your name and age and how do you define emotional intelligence hi my name is janae i'm 34 tell him janae get it 
Um, I'm really big on energy. So if I can sense that something's off or maybe you come home, you've had a bad day, I think communication is key. Um, and we just work it out, just try to figure out how we can do it. I love to travel, so I say, hey, babe, let's take a flight. <laughs> Who paying for that, though? I'm not even being chauvinistic, but you literally said earlier. But I'm hoping that, like, that's not even true. But, like, damn, you ever got, got invited somewhere? You got to pay? That's crazy. But I think she's I think she's good for it though. But other than that communication. Yes. Amazing answer. Thank you. Name an agent. How do you define emotional intelligence? Venusian, thirty nine. I would define that as um, you know, being able to read each other, the vibe, the energy, and having that open dialogue. How you feeling? Like let's take a vibe check. That's how I would define it. You know See, that's TikTok brain right there. You gotta get her gone, pop it. No. Pop her balloon. Understanding one in, one another's needs. Vibe check. You forty. Pop her balloon. Before anything else, so that's how I would. Amazing answers. <laughs> okay. You ladies are uh, emotionally intelligent. I see. <laughs> okay, so Christian, I am gonna have you pop hmm, two balloons. Okay. Two balloons based off of, you know, what you've seen, what you've heard, all that good stuff. Low key, I don't want to get rid of her, but Orange Dress got to go for that in answer because she completely misinterpreted it. So, okay. And then who else got to go? Oh, yeah, girl at the end with the flowers on her shit. There you go. Two. Two of them. Yeah. yeah. So pop those two first and then I'll ask you why you ended up popping. Wow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I feel the pain. Um... Can I ask one question or just after this round? After this round, mm -hmm. okay. All right. He don't want to let go. All right. Good shit, my boy. Okay, and pop one more. Standing on business. Okay. I see it. I get it. I would have got the other one out, but I get it. I'll have you stay right here. Okay. So you did have your balloon unpop for Christian. Why? Um, I thought that Christian was very well dressed. He came out very confident and I loved his answers. He likes to travel. He's from a very big family. I come from a family of 12 siblings myself. So yeah. Okay. Yeah. And now why do we end up popping her balloon? Definitely height. I know it's uh, usually women look at height when it comes to uh, men, uh, the height. Okay. But answers, both of your answers were incredibly on point. Didn't expect that. So she's too short for you, or yes? Oh, yeah. okay, <laughs> that's different. <laughs> Amen. So right. you gotta go with thirty-four year old, right? All right. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> and uh, then you did pop. Terrible lie. Nah, I don't like really short women either. He, he it, like he's not chatting right there. I do. I think he's telling the truth. Not really, but like that's a real thing. Hers. So first, why too short is crazy. Why did you have your balloon unpop for him? Um. I kind of, I liked his attire. Um, it was very mature. Um, was too short? Like anything under five foot three, realistically. Like even five three is on the shorter end. Ideally, like low key five nine is like where like everything really pop off. Five nine, five ten, to be honest. But like five three is like the cutoff, realistically speaking kind of my type in attire and the men that I normally go for and I like his accent. No, I ain't nothing wrong with five three. I'm just saying five three is hard. Like it's just a lot of I don't feel at my best, you know, with like five three and under. It's a little you know, like it's 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 cool though. It's cool. Ain't nothing wrong with it though. I'm not saying it's a deal breaker. I'm just not. If it's a five eight woman and then a five two girl in front of me, like I'm not gonna go with the five two. But other than that, nothing really in particular. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. And then so why do we end up popping hers? Great answer. Beautiful. Um, it's a tough selection. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's tough and. You obliged me to pop two balloons, I think. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm going to blame you. As, uh, You're five foot? Oh, my God. I'm blaming you. It's How are, like, that, I'm sorry, bro. I almost said something crazy. Let me chill. How is that not a... <laughs> 
<laughs> bro, I already deleted this shit, bro. Can you, like... Nah, I'm gonna just chill. That's not funny. It's not funny. That's not funny. By the time I ask the question, it won't even be funny. Because it's not funny. Nah, not a dwarf. But, like, assuming that you over the size of a dwarf... You know what? I'm not about to ask this question. I'm not asking this question. It's not funny. It's not funny. It's not funny. Yeah, I was Nigga about to... to say something about roller coasters. Nah, I was about to like, okay, I don't agree with this, right? The part of my brain that was about to ask this question, just know, I don't agree with it. I don't agree with it. I was just wondering, like, how is that not a disability? But, like I said... I don't agree with that. And so I'm immediately, I'm just distancing myself from the part of me that asked the question. And now it's not even there. I don't even have to think about it no more, you know? So at this point, it's not, it didn't even come from me realistically. That's all I was saying. What about a guy that's 5'8? Would it be an issue to be with some 5'3? And a, bro, if you're a guy, whoever you want to be with, be with. I don't care. I don't care at all. I have zero care in my heart. I do not care. Do what it is that you want, you know, do what you want. I don't think it's weird at all. I'm just speaking for myself. You are swinging for the fences this stream. What does that mean? It's okay. Okay. <laughs> all right. Thank you. How am I, how am I, mas how am I a misogynist? Blaming your alter ego. <laughs> oh, so I know you said you had another question. But you wanted to ask the ladies, I'm gonna have you ask these two ladies. Yes, um, I mentioned I'm a community organizer and I mean it um, in New York. I, I, live, I live in New York. I'm from the Republic of Chad, a former French colony. So in Chad, we speak French, Arabic. I learned English here when I was 16. Mm -hmm. So 24 in, in New York. And, you know, I have an aspiration to one day become gonna take three to five business days for her to even hear the question you're good dog but y'all was on me and this nigga just said that is that not way crazier i don't know when i turned 50 uh, the mayor of new york so how do you see yourself in that light uh, who's the mayor of new york one day become when i turned 50 uh, the mayor of New York. So how do you see yourself in that light uh, politically or just that light? You know, we we won't be Jay-Z and Beyonce, or, but that light. Okay, let's go down over there. <laughs> All right, if you want to just go ahead and answer his question. I love that what you do for the community as far as becoming a mayor, that's amazing. Shut up, nigga. You don't know what he got to do to become the mayor. You know how many women he going to have to fuck? You know how many promises he going to have to break? How many people he going to have to spit on? Talking about that's great. She, she going to learn. I see you doing that. Um, I love to help the community. I'm into fitness coaching on the side. So I could see me definitely in that lifestyle. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, I don't know how I feel about it. Right. That, that's tough. Uh, and then people get to doing research about you and digging into your business. I don't know. Okay. I don't know if I want to be in the spotlight like that. Okay. That's tough. That's why that's the question, you know, I, yeah. transparency. Yeah. Okay. So is that something that is a deal breaker for you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll pop my phone. Go Good ahead. answer. She's saving herself. <laughs> <laughs> all right so you did have your balloon on popper head for quite some time why so i really wanted to hear his story and get to a feeling for him because i believe in wait i just noticed they took the 42 year old giving everybody a fair shot and yeah. chance so but yeah okay. and then if you live in new york that's, that's quite a ways <laughs> if orange dress get taken right now there's no point in watching the rest of this okay i wasn't going to anyway but so we do have our one lady left here any questions for you for him um how do you feel about celibacy <laughs> oh man 
this is just this is just wow. This is gonna this is fantastic. This is amazing. So, <laughs> even though my name is Christian, I I chose to go to a Christian college, Pensacola Christian College, you know, when everybody was going to FSU and having fun. Mm -hmm. I went to an extremely strict, I mean, the strictest Christian colleges, you know, at, at 18, so, and it's, it was a, an intentional decision, um, you know, my faith. This being his last option would kill me. Um, how do I feel about it? I think it's a... Uh, an amazing thing to do in the name of discipline. This is the most PR answer that you have to give. Um, these days, uh, in the name of instant gratification, sex is such a, a trivial thing. It shouldn't, you know, um, sex, sharing your energy. You don't even believe this, bro. Somebody else should be sacred, so it's, yeah. it's an amazing thing. Okay, yeah. I like that answer. You are in New York. That is quite a ways. I live here in Tucson. Yes. But I'm currently in school for fashion design, and Amazing. I want to eventually go to Paris or New York. Okay. To so you an opportunity. You a lick is what she's saying. Get my bachelor's. Um, but I do have a question about the kids. Yes. Are you sure? How do you feel about three kids? I have three kids. You going to be watching them while you go to school? Because that's a tough one. Sure. I mean... I used to play soccer um, mm -hmm. professionally, semi-professionally. At the age of six, my father put us in a basketball school. So these are the things that I could bring if you have son or daughters, um, teach okay. them some soccer. I mean, I'm, I'm fine with you having three kids. Uh, the distance, I travel a lot. I was in France. My mother was born in Paris. I have plenty of family in France. Before that was Mexico City. Um, so you're close. Travel, travel a lot. Yeah, I, I didn't think to... a long distance would be an issue for okay. you. It won't be. Yeah. But the children won't. I mean, how? If um, I have a, a question to ask the age group and. Yeah, because that was my next question is 17, 12, and 7. And I have two boys are the two oldest and my youngest is a girl. So it's like, how do you, how do you see yourself when it comes to like teaching the children cuz i think oh bro you losing me you got to teach them i'll be looking at step kids like a disease <laughs> bro like what are you like how are you this is ill nigga the fuck going on with you it's a village we raise these kids with a village so it's like you don't have to be dad but Nah. Yeah, we life partners. Where do you see yourself with my children? I'm glad I mentioned I'm one of 13 um, villages. You know, it's, yeah. it's very African. Uh, I don't think Africans are scared of villages, but uh, I play like your, your sons, I, I see me becoming the, the best friend, mentor. I, I, I'm pretty good in soccer, pretty good in basketball. Maybe they could teach me some American football. Yeah. And, okay, you the sports nigga, I see. And, For sure. And I'm a writer. I mean, I feel like I have a package to be a, an incredible, I don't like to step that no, name, but I know. An, an incredible life partner, like you said. Influencer, yeah. yeah. Okay. Role model. Mm. Yes. I love the poetry too, so. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'm gonna have you come on up, come on up. Let's head on over here. Oh, let's go, let's Cameraman, go. Cameraman, cameraman. <laughs> okay, so I cool. just have one final question, if you guys are all good. I'm good. Okay, so. This video is useless now. Is it gonna be a yes for you for him? Yes. And is it a yes for you for her? Oui. Oh, he said it fresh, we got him. I'll take this mic and you guys can go on up. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next scene. Nobody else cares, bro. Nobody cares. You might as well just I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Nobody cares. It's over at this point. Man.